back. We had Tupac, Bob, so we had stream. I'm going to have to go back and clip it out and repost the first part of this stream. So this is a continuation of the hour or so stream that we just had. Um, mostly, we were talking about the WEF earlier and then um, Rant came on and started to give his views on Christianity, which he said was ultimately started by Satan. It was a trick of Satan's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, so I that's where we ended, it. and then we I, got bombed. I, I, I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit here and try to engage with Rant. If, all he does is add hominem attacks every time you try to talk to him. If you disagree with him, no, he he, he didn't. He, yes, he it did. It took him a while to get to the ad hominem. He didn't start with it. He tried no, to have a I, I disagreed with him on one thing, and he immediately said, like, he immediately started insulting me and, and saying and saying that I, I live in, he wouldn't he won't even go on cam. So well, no, I'm not. I'm not engaging with there, him. Yeah, oh, there are those. He's on the stream. That's fine. I mean, you could you could talk to him. But I'll, well, I'll, I'll back you up. I'll, I'll back Chris, you up. Uh, yeah, Chris, he made it air apparent from the get go that the three of us were too stupid, and yeah, he I, lost. We didn't do the research. I'm not. Did, I'm not a fan of his we... in the first place, and like, I, but I was willing to engage with him on this. But then I try to have we try to have one conversation where I I disagree with one thing, and then he immediately like, like, starts saying like, "Oh fuck you! I agree. You, live a, you live in a closet." Blah blah blah. I, I, I'm not. I don't have time Jeff, in my life. For I mean, that shit. Chris, yeah, we know the clean truth. Your room. <laughs> we know the we know the truth, Chris. Don't let it bother you. It doesn't. Bother <laughs> me. I'm just saying. I'm saying. I literally just don't have. It's the same way I got for the iFi. Like I just don't have time for it in my life. It's just like it's what's my time to try to engage with someone like that. But I, I found my. I when that porn bomb popped up, I'm punching my screen trying to turn it off for Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know right? <laughs> I was trying to I help guess I Jeff practice it. so I could get faster. At, if I'm going to do this full time, I need to get faster. At, oh, well, Joe I, I just, Ford just said just sent me board. something and said that he's going to come on your stream, and then he sent me some stuff that I think he's going to want me to pull up. Okay. As long as it's not what we just saw. Well. Different. Dude, that's why I came up here is because I heard Rant and I know how he's a dirty fighter. Yo, why like, you look like a broke version of Cruella de Vil hey, hey, That's how hey. I know. Like Jake, exactly. I don't know that's who you are. are but Yo, why you look like a broke Cruella de Vil? Like, you, you know how I know I'm not in a troll. Yo, why you, you look like a I rejected X Men? When you start going to insulting, that's how I know you're a low intelligent person. I'm just yeah, saying, you've lost you all like X Men with no powers. You've Ooh. lost all credibility mm -hmm. when you go. Yeah, because um, yeah. Period. All right, Jake's out. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm. I'm kind of retarded. I think what um happened is the link. The Streamyard link is like out there somewhere public maybe twitter or something and um it it it's drawing spam that happens sometimes if the link shows up in the wrong place yep bots yeah oh i know twitter used to be real bad for bot acting yeah it still is yo i have a i have a question for cynthia hello cynthia I mean, okay ask it please <laughs> Why you look like a broke Hogwarts? No, girl? no, 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 no. Brad, you're, this is it. This is no, I, your, I, I, I you're on thin ice. You can't help himself. You can't help yourself, Brad. You were talking about the like earlier of like Not when to be civilized and when to. This isn't verbal combat. All right, I'm that, was, that was the last one. Last one. I did All take right. a nap. I just Cynthia looks that. quite lovely as always. Thank you. This is rant, Frank. You just missed the drama. We got porn bombed. We had to restart the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, you were turning into quite the little panel. <laughs> I, I guess that was my first one. I guess it should be what, like a milestone. I got it's it's kind like of a, an a, initiation. It's like a rite of passage. A rite of passage. Yeah. <laughs> rite of passage. That's <laughs> how you know you're doing something. Oh, right. that's right. Um, Frank is Cynthia's champion, so you don't yes. just yep. monkey. Yeah, I don't did take a nap. Me. I did take a nap, and I actually thought about mm -hmm. rant. So when I woke up and heard him, I said, "No way," 
Because I was thinking, thinking about, about in your dreams, bro. You were, you I was were, thinking yeah, about were, Paul were, unslaved and how he was from New York, but I could almost see a glimmer of hope in him. Then I started thinking, who else is from New York? And then rant, and I said, there's no way. There's no help for that guy. Motherfucker, there's I'm no, the king of New York, right? You gotta respect my swag. There, no, there is no hope That's for exactly, Paul. And then I'd wake up and turn it on Jeff, and I'm like, no way. <laughs> You're a king. <laughs> So you're trying to say you're you're excited by New Yorkers? No, because well, I thought you lived in the woods. You live in New York. New York is like New York. I mean, you can live. There's woods in New York. Central Park. You want to go there? Is that where you? But Rant, Rant don't live in New York. (laughs) Box is yours. No, I love New York, bro. It got too. It got too. Are you in Missouri with cops? It got too toxic. You know, and I don't. I like, left Seattle for the same. No, I get you. Like, I no, I just Seattle can't for... breathe this air anymore. I'm gonna die. I get. You, you know, it's so weird. I bet the toxic. I'm gonna be honest. Honestly, the, the problem with New York. Value. Look, I'm gonna tell you straight up. The problem with New York, all right, for any real person, is it's literally almost impossible not to end up in jail perpetually. Because well, maybe you, you, you will just you will just be made to be a criminal. You know what I mean? Like I was, you gotta understand. Look, I was growing up as a little kid. You were an innocent little altar boy walking to church, and all of a sudden they made you. I wasn't innocent, right? I I had fucking, you know, I was a kid that I smoked cigarettes as a kid, bro. I had maybe had a joint, right? But I wasn't like terrible. But the cops would be literally just throwing you up against fucking walls, right? As a little kid, bro, I'm fucking. 12 years old, cops are throwing us up against the wall because we're in a group of kids frisking us, trying to find one joint to fucking put every one of us in jail. That sounds like the cops I remember. What yeah. I'm saying is they're just out there looking for a reason to put you in fucking jail. And so that's why I left New York. So is New I was York around the only 20 place years. That happens? You know? Nah, bro, I left the city. It's Babylon, bro. I'm in the, I'm in the country, in the woods. This is where it's at. But I'll give you an I'll give you an example though. That kind of shit never happened to me, even in Miami when I left New York. I'm saying that the cops in New York when I was there, I don't know about now, but they were a completely different fucking animal. From now, I heard it's just fucking pandemonium in New York. But I've been out of there for fucking like eleven years. Good for you. I can see you raised twenty years to yourself. You know, when I became a man, I started really reconsidering where the fuck I'm at. My family never did that. They were tied down. To all I'm How 33 now. You know what I'm saying? I'm 33. For the last 10 years, I've been building a homestead in the Ozark fucking woods, raising my family. I got four kids. A yeah, while. I heard. I heard. But- you chop wood and your wife takes care of the kids. I don't just chop wood. I do all kinds of shit. I run businesses. I make soap. I do all kinds of things. Do you help oh. with the kids? Are you like part of your kids' club, life? So- I'm around my kids every day, all day. Like, do you engage with them? Like, do you have, like, special time yeah, with them? Yeah, we class with them. them. Do all kinds of things. I'm not really going to get into it with you, but I raise but, like, my kids. go out to kids. the woods and teach them things? We homeschool. We don't do you know, indoctrinate you in the system. No, no, We're no. Sa- I said go out in the woods and teach them things. Yeah, like, we outlaw. teach them about, you know, we teach them about God. We teach them about space. real oh, nature, oh. real things. You know what I'm saying? We teach wow, them about the crazy. real shape of the earth. You oh, know so what I'm saying? You said you, you, you said you teach Wait, them you real teach, things. Hang on, Tom. Yeah, uh, real uh, things. Uh, hang on, you hang teach on. them <laughs> that the earth is flat. Hang on, yeah. rant. 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 <laughs> you miss. I want to, where, who is your homeschool person? Like, you well. I mean, I first of all, I didn't have a biblical description here. of the earth. First <laughs> no, no, we, we've had so many flat earths. Second earth. of all, it's an oblate spheroid. Well, I don't oh, care what you, you say, but Wikipedia, second of all, Google, every you know how to research, it, listen, so you listen here. Ask the listen AI. here. Wake up. This wake up. Wake up. Research. Hello? Listen, you don't know every ancient oh, civilization. Every ancient civilization that was more advanced than we are now had depicted the earth as flat and level. Your own uh, eyes must be deceiving you when you look at level water. Spheroid, and yeah. All credibility goes your out the window. You are I don't care what you them. say, bro. I, I have I have done the research to prove that it is, in fact, flat. Now, if you tell it, me it's well, not, that can be proven. you have not done the research. Along with the research, did you do the uh, Yeah. 
I'll give you a I'll give you a little quick tidbit. NASA, right? The people who you fucking go to for your information no, based on the shapes of the earth. Know. You don't even yeah, it, it is. Right no, now. how do you know who I go to for the, my information? Well, how, are you gonna get, the, how are you going to get on. footage of the Earth, bro? The the latest latest people, flight, people knew the Earth the, was around way before NASA. Where, how did you the see the Earth? Actually, um, I, I saw the Earth go go the Earth curve. No, I, I have, I have, I have right, a couple I'm, of I'm going I'm to go get a refill. Y'all got like. 45 seconds. No, all right. So not NASA. You, you want to go back. You want to go back to the no, model of the earth. You want to go no, back to the I model ran. of the earth, which was conceived by the gesture. Everyone who purported the heliocentric model. I want to ask Potter, you a couple questions. It was all heliocentric. I'm, I'm sure not going to stop talking. I'm, I'm it was I know all done by Cheshwit. not an adult Vatican. yet. He's still He's growing up. up. He's still have, learning yeah. how to interact with people. Explain you guys don't know over shit. The Between the whole fucking panel, you knuckleheads don't have enough IQ to even He's comprehend the shit that I'm going to you. He's still a child. You just want to hear the sound of your child. own voice. No, I want to hear you talking, but I want to ask you some clarifying questions because you made some claims, and I just want Cynthia over here calling me a child while she acts like a child. While she acts like a child. Looking like a genetically oh, modified oh naked mole rat that is from some kind of fucking lab. At least, I'm, lab. At least right. I'm brave enough to cam up saying. Avatar. At least you I'm clone. brave enough to cam up Rant, Avatar. Sure you a clone. Your claims. Can you please engage? You're a bitch. You a clone. You're a bitch. Oh, you just own a, a pre-programmed NPC <laughs> mind state just posting through this life on autopilot. Like, they grow up in and when anybody challenges your autopilot, easy street, they don't have another oh, mind state oh, pathway. You don't know how to handle it. And that's why you react like that. You know what I'm saying? Stand beside her. Can you please say one thing? Is that cool? Yeah, Chris. Oh. All right. Because I'm just saying, like, it, when Jeff gets out, just let me know. Just let me know whenever he decides to finally get rid of Rant, because I'm out of here. Bye. Goodbye, closet boy. Okay, Rant. I, uh, I do have a couple questions. That's because unnecessary. You, you know, said, you know, because, can everyone uh, please shut the fuck up so I can ask Rant some questions? Come on, Chuck. Don't hey. become a snowflake on me now. I thought you was old school military. Like, Rant doesn't bro. want you to ask questions, Lib. Don't you get it? Come on, Chuck. Did they take your balls, too, in America? Rant, what? I want to understand your perspective because you said some things that I, I'm not sure... I don't know if I agree. So you said that there were um, ancient civilizations um, that believed the earth was flat. Can can you give some examples of those civilizations? I can. Okay. What are they? Would you like a fucking picture of them? I mean, no. I can give you name. a picture with every example from every. Okay, I'm back. What's the next flat? topic? So we don't have this <laughs> adult. Do you want a collage of every ancient civilization's visual depiction in hieroglyphs the and artwork were of the flat earth? I can provide it. No, I'm saying just no, name them. Just yeah. name them. That's all I want you to all, do. All of them? Yo, ran off my co-host. Okay. I yeah, know he that's said not... calling. When okay, ran like, Marian, Babylonian, by... Tibetan, Buddhist. Like, you could just go through all okay. of them. Phoenician, okay, hang on, Chaldean, hang on. All of them. Wait, Buddhist? That's everyone up right? until Mercator. Everyone Pause. up until Copernicus. Pause. Everyone. Pause. <laughs> Tibet is not an ancient Stop. civilization. Break it down. Listen. Tibet, Tibetan people is a civilization. Hold on, let me pull out my fucking thing. Hold on, I'll name them all. Research. Hold on, no, I'm gonna pull out my fucking chart here, bro. I got a chart for everything. Because, like, yeah. so, like the ancient because ancient information you have ancient Greeks. Look, they didn't. When think you get into a state of high information, you have to understand that it is hard to compartmentalize all of this shit. You have to have an organization. To be yeah, able I know. To yeah, I know how every it fucking works. civilization, as he just asked. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I mean, I, I know for a fact that the ancient Greeks didn't think the world was flat, though. So, like, yeah, you've got the Mayans, the Hebrews, the Chinese, Islam, alchemy. Did you see the chart you're looking what? at? Did you I mean, you can, you can just simply can Google it, it bro. It's, it's you, not uh, hard to find. Like a at this point, there's a million images of this. Just Google, like, flat earth. Yeah, I'm a visual learner. Can you put one in the back chat for, for us to pull up and I'll pull real it up? Smart people. Yo, you're I mad know lazy. a lot of smart people. I grew up with smart people. I, real smart people 
can share their intelligence and their information. It's not some esoteric thing. All right, but also, real smart people are not lazy as fuck. You know what I mean? Like, this is a simple Google search, and everyone is acting like they don't know well, how to it type it. It started out as this complex When, when y'all get into a debate, you're all secretly Googling shit behind the fucking thing. No, you know what I mean? no. If you pull it up, I will pull it up. Just a ninja like Google's fucking reflexes. It's like you're Googling it with your fucking mind half the time. But now that it comes to the time, you need to look some shit up. You act like you don't know how to fucking Google shit. That's the problem. You're not being fucking genuine, and you want me to come genuine. You know what I mean? I wasn't a part of this. I'm willing to I'm willing to Google and and fact check stuff and and double check. Okay, so and we got the AI too. So so ain't so ancient Tibet, ancient uh Tibet flat earth. Okay, so um let's just look see. up ancient depictions of earth. It doesn't have to be flat earth. Yeah, but we're, we, we we have more information now. So what do the ancient depictions have to do with the world being an oblate spheroid? But again, now, this is today? again, you don't even have to go there, Jeff, because ancient civilizations for the most part didn't think the earth was flat. Like, they did. I, okay, I'm going <laughs> to I'm okay. Who's the? Uh, let me first person, uh, Earth round. Bro, it was, the, I think they were they were either Greek or. Look at the Tree um, of Life in the Celtics. Look at the, the Egyptian Kabbalah. Cosmo depiction in the hieroglyphics. What does it have to do with on, like the stars? The Earth being not flat. Today. Look at the Hebrews with the pillars in the firmament this and the fucking red. circle you, of you, the Earth. You, you have to pillars. connect the dots for us. Look yeah, at right. the Navajo. Well, this is, yeah, this is his tactic to throw people off balance. So not my tactic. You're acting like you're dumb. You're fucking acting ignorant. Brad, Brad, what this is a this is the opportunity to pick a new topic. All right, so we could get on a whole new road. Like we already know journey. you can sit here and debate flat Earth forever, and retards are always going to no, actually disagree, we, but they have no information to you. back it up. You know right. what I mean? So what what would you like to anybody next? Like time? nobody on this panel could tell me the angle of fucking drop. We're not interested. We've had this debate. Oh, is it curve? But everyone's a fucking idiot. scientist and believes in the. If flow. you don't recognize that the Earth is an oblate spheroid, then just stay an idiot. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what is the next topic? How much research have you done to believe it's an oblate spheroid? Zero, none. I don't need See, to. That's do the it. thing. I didn't just believe the shape of the earth based on what someone told me. I did mad research and came to a conclusion. You see Could the difference? You the research right, but but if it's care. scientific research, then you could share how the you. The fact that, that you that don't believe what I'm saying shows results. you've done zero research. That's the part I would like to see. Where and that's what we need to address. Well, we don't yeah. need to address the fact that I need to give it to you. You're, you you're, you're making you're making it. a lot of incorrect claims about what a lot Fine. of ancient peoples believe. Okay, like great. I, okay, so like literally in the fifth in the third century this B fucking C, Hellenistic astronomers established the roughly spherical shape of the Earth. So, um, how, how long ago is that? Twenty three hundred years ago. That was before Jesus. That was before fucking Jesus. Bro, you don't uh, know what you're talking about. Well. Okay, so what Wikipedia is is Wikipedia wrong? Is is yeah. what's the what's the they're, li they're lying to you, stupid idiot. I, well, you can you... go edit it yourself. Go right. yeah. change it to the truth so that we yeah, are. I'm gonna go put my fucking dick on Wikipedia. He, 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 you can't have an intelligent conversation with him. <laughs> I'm you I'm not I, this is not He's an intelligent like I I enjoy the intelligent Honestly, conversation is that you first need to go do some research, then come back, and we'll have it. Okay, well, so, okay. But, but, so but, now but, we're going to all go it's to God, it, 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 it vacillates between do you research, it's really complex, blah, blah, to it's such an easy Google search. Why are you asking me to do it, you idiot? You <laughs> can easily do it yourself. So we never know at any given time what level of complexity. So do you know that you cannot calculate solar and lunar eclipses using a round or this spherical is, oblate no, no, we don't do this on Sundays. This cosmological is model? Stuff. You know that can't be done, right? Do you know how scientists predict? Liv, I had a this? tweet about Can I tell you? Um, they use yeah, a model called the Sora tweet, but that after that. You're Are you aware of the Sora cycle? Mm. The the solar cycle? The Sora cycle. Soros. So Soros? George, as in George Soros? Right. That's what it's called. Google it. 
Soros cycle. Okay, I, right. I, I I am unfamiliar with it. So yeah. Um, how much of your research was Google? A lot. Googling? Oh, the story. Yeah. How much of you a lot of, a lot of googling to find where the fucking information is? It's how not much really a great published? search engine. Honestly, the better search engine right now is like Yandex. But I'm just telling you, Google it since y'all are a bunch of fucking simple people. You know how I mean? much of this have you published since you said that you were able to prove it? Have you I'm published not, I'm not in, I'm not into publishing things that are already published. I found the information. I read it. It's there. But he's not okay. able to share it. I don't need to read <laughs> public. Does anybody else see anything I Finally. Like, is this that, is an entertainment channel. That's so you know, that way to you gotta understand, up. I'm not here to teach you. I'm here to help you understand how you begin in, to learn. Uh, what the, how is that different from teaching? I want you to know how to learn. <laughs> I want you to start uh, thinking you know what? and learning. God, this, just he sounds just like wizard. So, so Rand. He's right. just like oh. wizard. Rand, oh. you're about to get oh. gone. <laughs> Your so entertainment a, value is rant. Oh, oh, rant. oh rant. Rant. Look, I, I look on the yeah, woman. The woman. So on I mean, at the end of the day, this rant. panel has <laughs> so zero substance. Because now you have Mr. Joe Cool. You know what I mean? So what does that mean? This is a zero substance panel. But you're I here hanging in out. So when I brought the fucking substance. I brought flavor to no. this sauce, which was no. bland no. and you did bring, You did bring flavor. I that Yes, you did. So, I'm just saying. So I, it was I, I looked pale up and dry shares. and boring. It had three people watching it. It was gay as hell. Like, oh, I don't, was, Rand, I don't think it was, was boring. Doing an Rand. ice skating performance. I, 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 so, I like Rand, What was your so contention up, that well, they no. disagreed Joe, with? Joe, 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 yeah. Joe, 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 Joe. Okay. So, Rand, good, fight. What's up, Joe? So yeah. I looked up the sorrow cycle on on Encyclopedia Britannica. It looks like right. it is a um, it's basically a collection of eclipses. Um, yeah. Uh, the Asaro series lasts between twelve hundred and fifteen hundred years and comprises sixty nine to eighty seven eclipses. Okay. So what is the importance of a what I'm Sorry. what I'm trying to explain to you is that you literally can't use the fucking mathematics of the solar system that they've provided to depict the eclipses. They have to use an ancient predetermined system. Oh. And the NASA scientists, if you go and look at NASA's data, they say all solar eclipses and lunar eclipses for the next 5,000 years were predicted by one man. Right? Where? Can you post the link where they say who, that? And have you yeah, told NASA? Yeah, I, I can. You, can I you sure send can. NASA a sure, email? I can. I can. Sure. Hang on, Ram. Yeah. What's the guy's name? Put it in the back and I'll put it in Here's Ram, the point. The this guy wasn't a mathematician. He wasn't a scientist. He was the biggest Soros researcher. He was just obsessed with the Wait. Soros cycle from Babylonia. Okay. Okay. This is not what, fucking what, mathematics what's, what's of name? the solar system. Okay. What's, what's the point? Can what I predict name? the next five thousand? Jim, yeah. what's on your mind? Have you encountered any racism last? Uh, the, the if past you know the solar cycle, you can predict all of it. You don't need no fucking <laughs> so so round earth fucking mathematics because it's not too. based on a round earth. Uh, all right. Before we do the flat earth round earth thing, let's do. No, we're not gonna. Earth. We're not gonna do it. It's it's right. it's not. Yeah. Grant isn't willing yeah. to actually engage bro oh, wow. some of the best round earth flat earth 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 like out there uh, yes yes i got it is, well Jeff, first you, i want to say uh, you know how paul's getting getting his ass kicked lately has everybody been up on no that? i didn't yep. know about that yep. No. Yep. okay well here's the short version brian uh was uh searching for black panels and oh, he yeah, yeah. and he went live saying uh, tr uh not trolling doing something with black panels uh, and then he goes on the show and he's airing it and they were liking him and shit. And then they look at his channel and like, dude, so you just searching black panels? What the fuck does that even mean? He's like, no, no, I'm a good guy. Watch. Here's when I friend. As soon as he play Paul, Paul is live. Paul says, we were the original niggers here and blah, blah. They're like, whoa, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> So they was this on the, stream? Is this there... was on yeah. stream yeah. yesterday, I think, or the day before. Everybody <laughs> jumped and attacked Brian. And then Brian mm -hmm. goes live and makes another panel called Checking Out Black Panels. Black Panel oh, uh, yeah. Night. You know, he's just doing the black panel thing. Paul go over there. I went over there and uh, told Paul this is a bad look. Snafu jumps up there and call everybody the hard ER. Everybody in chat putting N-I-G-G, -G, all that bullshit. Mm -hmm. uh, 
So uh, uh, yesterday, another some more uh, black folks get on the Jaguar, right? I don't know if y'all know who that yeah. is. She's yeah. over there today. Uh, Paul's giving her shit. He's getting very popular. As Where's she, a, a, where are they at? A racist on motherfucker. On, They're on, on, uh, pa on Paul's, yeah. Every, yeah, time, Paul, every time I hear people talk about Paul, I always think they're Im immediately initially think they're referring to P.F. Young. Yeah, and I'm like, wait, what? what? Paul owns Blade. Yeah, but no, I know. Joe, it was really bad when he went live on that same show as Brian to talk with uh, the mob ties. And he called them all slaves. He yeah. called. Ugh. The black people slaves. Yeah, yeah. so much shit to hang on to in all of, in those couple days. Y'all know who Jaguar Wright is? <coughs> Y'all know do. who she is? I do. No. She I'm is. Uh, oh, she was know. on the uh, Jay Z in the heart of the city before Mary. She didn't want who bust Jay Z now and all the famous people. Yeah, there, yeah, right? but she she's an amazing, amazing vocalist, like one of the yeah. most am amazing. If it's your birthday, go up there, tell her it's your birthday. She'll sing you an incredible song. She's actually in the area. That's I mean. how she got in the know. Yo, now what the she's fuck known. are we even talking about? Shut up, now Grant. Obviously, stuff. Known. This no, isn't no. abuse. She was there, all right. No one now she's known. Known. What is she known for? Now she's known for busting out celebrity. Right, but she that she what she used to be the backup singer for the roots. And yeah, then after cold. that. And then she get went on and did her own album. But then her and Diddy kind of had like she kind of went off the wire, and they kind of blackballed her, right. and she popped up. But she's also well, in this is a fucking Matrix show. reality. That, yeah, this is where we're going. No, no, no. Hang on, one Be side patient. joke. She's also we're living in, in the Matrix. Rant. She's talking. It was no. going. Bro, through. this is the Matrix. Joe. Hey, she, hang on. You know Nature Boy, Joe. You know Nature hey. Boy. Uh, the Nature Boy, the cult. The, That's the, the one that pops in my head. She got to be talking. The, about. Okay, there was a gentleman who <laughs> just left. got sentenced to life. I put him out. on mute so he could you could finish yeah. talking and he left. So there's a there's a gentleman that was on YouTube and on Bego and he started a cult and he ended up holding people against their will and then posting uh, the videos. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, so I remember. Jaguar Wright is now entangled like in a relationship with his number two command person. So that's uh, kind of interesting to watch their dynamic. Well, the, the whole entertainment thing is a mess. And Jaguar Wright last year, she had a breakdown in a parking lot here, and she I don't took even her know son's she ashes. I, I don't he either. Was, he, her son's ashes because he was cremated, and she drives with them, and she like did some uh, ritual all over her body. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, and that was led. You just put up a comment by uh, Vladimir Putin. Uh, Jeff, is that right? Uh, mm -hmm. Probably. Oh, Bathmet Beavis? Bath yeah, that Beavis. doesn't matter what he's saying, but it just so happens that Vladimir was busy in his own country and he put out, uh, 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 well, he did something. The scent. Can you bring up the, the, the TikTok short? And this is the, the shit that I want to talk about. And really, you know. Fucking love his way up here. Fucking, yeah. he's a bright dude, and and Jeff is in denial, so this will be perfect. You, you know, use TikTok. Am I just, you have a link I could show it. Yeah, TikTok she's gonna and... do it. That's why I okay. said to her because I don't know how to do Trying this stuff. Just I saw nice. Cynthia up here. But uh, I'll set it up. You heard me run around talking about, maybe you got have it, uh, but how the uh, Vatican has all the original uh, pictures of uh, Jesus and Mary, and they were black. And when they came along, I think it was 15, 16, the, uh, original, the original depictions, yeah. Like, yes, the earlier the, depictions of, of Jesus yes. did not depict yeah. him as oh, by the church. Like, European. Yeah, yes. by the church. Okay. Yeah, they so weren't like they, some European white man. It was like they took the same paintings and made them lighter and lighter until what we know now. But they couldn't get rid of the originals, they're masterpieces. So every now and then you get to see some Putin is showing the ones that he has. And he is firmly uh he's like, oh. fuck that. You know what? Well, fuck that. Which one did you the the ninety nine like? Short one that says short. The one in the middle anything. was the wrong one. I, did, I was. I There's no was music saying. on it, is there? I'm not getting copyrighted. Me no, no, it's talking. If it is, it's talking. I don't I'm think talking. I can pull this one up because it's TikTok, and I don't have TikTok on my computer. I don't have a TikTok either, but uh, I think you can still pull it up, and all yeah, you got to do is hit, put your unmute. I don't have TikTok. Okay. Yeah. 
TikTok is shiny fire. Yeah, I don't have it either. I just thought my Chuck, man told me to Chinese spying. download it. What do y'all, I guess we got time, but I think that's a, a, a play. You go after TikTok, which they no different from Facebook and the rest of them. Oh, I think he's that's... showing a little, little icon. Oh, I put it in the back uh -huh. right now, Jeff. Is oh, this the right one? Well, I can't Joe? see anything. I can't I... see nothing. Oh, well, he posted up. Let's see. This is whites only. No, that's the wrong one. Get rid of okay. that. I didn't mean to send you that. But okay. you can't take it. Uh, I, did, I did see a picture of Putin with a uh, with an icon, and it's you know definitely like a black Jesus. That's the one. That's the, that's got to be it, yo. This is a, a TikTok short, but I got the the real stuff on the other one I sent her. But the short will explain to you what's going on. I mean, it's not like so much an explanation as it is just like. It's just like showing. When I'm watching right. is Putin speaking and somebody talking yes. over here. Yeah, that's oh. it. That's, well, he's speaking and they're translating it. Oh. Because he speaks. I Russian. don't know if I want to play anything by Putin on here, just in case. We just had rent on here. He's a master. You're fine. <laughs> I think you're fine. Yeah, I, like, yeah. I, I will put again. the link in the chat. Next, next, next thing we know, we're going to yes. find out that Jeff has uh, committed suicide via. Uh, <laughs> you fell out a window. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> two bullets. All right, well, what? Putin, uh, if Jeff ain't gonna, ain't gonna play it, he's saying that, uh, uh, that they are gonna stop with the bullshit and they're gonna uh, be honorable and true and, and talk about how history really is. They're gonna embrace diversity and all of that, and they're showing all the pictures. Well, Wait, sent, what if you could. Mm -hmm. Like the I'm Russians are gonna embrace diversity. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know. I, mean, like, uh, in I, I don't. King I don't. Of I don't. Rewriting I, history. I don't. I don't think. Yeah, Putin. Putin's real good at rewrite. Well, Putin yeah. A is actually he's not really a good at rewriting history. He just likes doing it. He's good at <laughs> writing history. <laughs> All about rewriting. He wrote his own history. I mean, the, the yeah, I was gonna say because the Tucker Carlson thing was like that was some fucking wild shit. Um, Pure propaganda. Hmm. Sure. I mean, like, I, I mean, it's definitely true that there are definitely depictions of Jesus with much darker skin. They're very old um, mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, no shit. Um, uh, but yeah, all, all I'm all I'm finding is like pictures or videos of Putin uh, showing people um, if, if anyone's familiar with what icons are. It's a yeah. it's a thing in the yes. in the Orthodox Church. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's like an icon that he has of Jesus. Um, yeah, it's a, like a dark skinned Jesus. Like, sure. I do believe that um, the other video that I gave her is gonna uh, to show the book with the. I don't even know if the icons in there. I guess, but all the paintings and shit. It's just a guy flipping through the pages of the book itself. Uh, uh, it's you know, well, you'll see it. Well, I I can remember Mom had a big picture of Jesus when we were kids. Had a what picture of Jesus? A big picture. Big of picture. Jesus, okay. Yeah. yeah. And in that picture, he was, I just put for back. lack of better way to describe it, olive color. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's he's from. Jesus was born in the fucking Levant. I mean, I don't think he was some like modern day white Palestine, where they're mm -hmm. where they're over there um, killing motherfuckers now, Gaza and all of that. That's where he's from. well. Uh, he was born uh, uh, Bethlehem, east of, that, east of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. same same region would have been yeah. pretty pretty dark skinned. But no, is he a chalk white figure? I don't think so. Yes. Though though it is it is it is worth noting that um uh basically any every like culture that that has sort of like Christians in it will depict Jesus as sort of looking kind of like them like if you look at very like, yeah. korean christians uh some other depictions of him uh are of him being like looking like asian. eastern asian uh, um, Liv, this was all a setup yeah. before and you because you took me there this was all a setup to uh how people do that and white people have depicted him as jesus and you the, the crt People need to teach real shit, CRT and all of that shit, because white people are okay with whitewashing shit. If you don't teach the real uh, psychology involved, 
white motherfuckers is okay with it. That's what I was going. I guess I, I, I was going to What did we that. whitewash? Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, that's what you're... I, I, I do think... No, you... you that's what wait, the big controversy wait. is over? Yeah, right, I, I, exactly. I, I do you see how y'all, y'all make out like y'all have all these pressing issues and then when you get a concrete example, it's always like this minute thing that's not Well, relevant well to that's your most... thing, though, Jeff, right? Your I do think thing Americans... Is to, hold on, hold on, Lip. Your okay. thing is to break everything down to uh, uh, act like as if this one assumption stands alone. Your argument is always, your one example does not prove. That is your safety where you run to. No, that's clearly, clearly, you always do it. I'm not talking about just one time. That's what you do. Well, and clearly do, what I'm saying then example. or what I'm That's not what I'm I did. Sorry. All right. But uh, I thought that was my, in my uh, interpretation, you know, uh, but what I, what, you don't do and what you're not doing right now is is try to understand the big picture that uh i'm trying to give an instance of uh of something that's uh, prolific uh, um, the fact of, the fact that they have pictures of jesus as white is part of what big picture i, I don't connect it to any you think it's a good spirit like they deliberately made him white for uh, okay, here's my reasons. Yeah, I think that uh, white people intentionally, uh, when yeah, they uh, that, come that's in, wild to me. Yeah, they uh, they to, and part of that uh, plan to take over dominance was to get rid of any black image, blow up any black statue with a big nose, I told you any that. black, How do you know this? any black picture, uh, get rid of it and replace it with a white people, white picture. This is what All I'm right. trying to prove. So understand, if I show you one picture or even twenty. It's not proof of this thing. I know that going in. So this is why one of the cam commandments is thou shall have no image of me. And I never yeah, pay course. attention yeah. to any of this. Like yeah, I'm no, never going to have an argument over the Did color. you ever pull up the other yeah. things? Sent? Yeah, it's in the back chat. The other video you sent. Yeah, yeah. The other yeah, one. It's in the back chat. Yeah, we the can one stop from YouTube, and talk right? over that one. Yeah, that's, yeah, we can stop and talk over that one. Yeah. <sighs> Hang yeah. on, it's giving me ads. Uh, see, that's why. But you yeah, I bar. never get in conversations about that because everybody, like Joe was saying, everybody is gonna kind of see themselves in yeah. Jesus. Like they're gonna, they, you know, they're oh, like he was that. Filipino. You know, he was this. Yeah. So I'm never gonna knock anybody for how they see it. But I never, like, I'm never arguing with anybody you know the psychological the power argument. it does if you well, control argument. an entire country and you paint every hero every event every historical thing as we were the victors and we did it in the name of righteousness uh and it's, it's it's not so much that as it is like it's this kind of this idea that um uh jesus was a a person and that the fact that jesus was born in in bethlehem and he was dark-skinned Jesus came for everybody, and the idea is that, like, thus, like, everybody gets Jesus. It, Jesus is everybody's. Like, it's not, Jesus isn't just, you know, the Arabs or the Jews or the white people. Jesus is for everybody. So that's kind of. Of course, yes. Which uh, is why he would say, would say, don't do the grave and image thing. Why in, in the Bible, it's smart enough. It doesn't really talk about him, uh, you know, what his, he looks like and shit. Uh, other people talk about how dark they are or whatever, but not not Jesus. I think it was for that because they don't want us bickering over his fucking uh, color. Well, we're, a lot of people are going to get hung up there, and you that what's you lose? I don't like you. You got stuck at the first part, and there's so much more behind. Here, it I'm trying to use it, Cynthia. If you can understand uh, no, as no, no, evidence, no, no, as evidence, you're not to clean it up. You said that well. Uh, I'm trying to use it as evidence of the psyop that's being poured on black people uh the world period but i'm okay with just now for this part with Who's black people it? how it would make uh um make you feel inferior and uh and nobody can make, make you other feel people. inferior without and it would taking tend, part of that and it would tend to uh make that person see himself as it, less than the other person as uh bigger so I'm saying this is just part of the argument. He's at the mercy of what Dale, color Jesus is. He's an awfully fragile person. <laughs> he's right. Did you Who see is right the religion, but... Catholic Church? Is there like the... Wait. The... You, you do, do you understand what I'm saying first? PSYOP is a real thing, right? You understood that part, 
right? I'm trying to. I, yeah, I, I understand that you believe it's a psyop, but if it's a psyop, that means somebody's yes. deliberately running it. And who would that be? The church? Well, in this because it seems like it's, it's a historical psyop. In this instance, all of the famous. Uh, we're just talking about uh, church uh, pictures and paintings. A lot of these by uh, super famous painters too. Uh, and, and you'd think they're on display, but they are kept in the basements and kept hidden somewhere. Uh, <laughs> Well, not, Who you tell me? A lot of them, a lot of them, at least in in Russia's case, a lot of those are icons. And the point of icons is that individuals would have an icon, and you would basically like pray in front of the icon um, as like a that's part of their like religious rituals. Um, but yeah. Frank mentioned a a Bible verse: uh, "I came only for the lost sheep of the house of Israel." Um, yeah. Which could, which would be kind of a nail in the coffin, except if you look at sort of the context that that one specific phrase surrounds in Matthew 15, um, yeah. uh, Jesus is basically testing the faith of a Canaanite woman. Um, he's basically using the, uh, he's using the argument that a lot of the Jewish um, uh, uh, religious leaders would say and be like, ah, yes, the Messiah is only coming for us. Yes. For, for the for the Hebrews for the Israelites that's who only who the Messiah is and Jesus is basically like um, mm -hmm. mocking them and and, and and attempting to test this Canaanite woman's faith faith and then at the end of it um, he says uh, uh, your your faith has rewarded you and then he heals her daughter um, so I mean yeah sure that is that is my interpretation Frank. Right, my that is true right. but like it's important context like and you're I, I provided more context to to it's uh, necessary context. Yeah. Well, yeah. the person who you provide the context to would disagree. <laughs> I mean, they, sure. do, they do that in other stories when he talked about Jesus said, go kill somebody. Uh, he was and he did it did come out of his mouth, but he was saying uh, a parody of what a king did. Go kill the people. He was yeah, he was irony. talking about a story. Irony. Uh, well, it's, it's also the the. The, um, if you look at the the story of the woman who was getting stoned, um, he was like the first the first uh, of you without first sin. Without he was, he yeah. was without sin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he was that thing cast the first stone. Um, cast the first stone. But well, I got a but, huge rock pile, so I'm ready. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Frank, like, sure, but like, I'm not even Christian either. But like, I'm just aware of um, that that. The Bible is not quite as cut and dry as basically anyone would like to think it is. It's basically chock full of context and interpretations. Doesn't it you depend on the person after hollering at flat earthers? I think it depends on the person reading it now. I do believe <laughs> like the, the article that I read about NASA destroying its equipment seemed quite logical. Someone else is gonna read something else into it. Yeah. The same thing you could take saying, ten here. people that's <laughs> never seen the Bible, set them down and have them read a chapter, you'll and you'll get, get 10. ten different outlooks. Uh no, you won't get ten, you'll get probably fifteen. What are you talking right. about, Chuck? Right. Have you read that? Yeah. Have you read that <laughs> thing? You, any text. you yes. know what I mean. Context, yeah, yeah, no, I do. Yeah, it's a it's a very I mean all all religious uh texts are like this. They all they are require any and those icons same thing with Harry Potter. Can and you, conspiracy uh, theories are just sorry, like Jeff. huh? Because them icons that Liv was talking about, it starts off talking about the icons, uh, and they were in one church, and he put them on display <laughs> and said, "This is something we've been hiding, and we're gonna embrace it," you know, type of shit. Uh, is there a? It's twenty minutes. I don't want to play the whole thing. Is there a time? Well, like the old base. base well, Patty. let's just start with the uh, beginning. Now, here's my contention, also, Jeff. When you make Jesus white, it makes me have to come on panel. If that was about a fucking clown fucking a football, you wouldn't have a hesitation playing it. Uh, but because it is what it is, Wait, you, you got to hesitate playing it. No, no, Jeff is just cautious on anything. No, I'm, you know, I'm hesitating uh, because many reasons. The main one is copyright. It has some music on. playing in the background. Yeah, I, I, have, I have a topic. And I did Jeff. post the link in the chat, so it's not like yeah. I'm trying to hide the information from people. Yeah. Jeff, Jeff. Yeah, he I, did I, just I, get I shut have a... down, Joe. That got nothing to do with playing a fucking video. All right, it's because you're black. You caught me, Joe. I don't play <laughs> videos for black people on this channel. I'm just going to come It's yeah, like time you do. admit it, Jeff. No more song and dance. Jeff, I have, I have a topic because I know I know you, you had discussed it uh, yesterday or the day before. Um, uh, whatever you were wanting to talk about. Um, 
uh, I can't remember exactly how you phrased it. You said you wanted to talk about it. <laughs> well, no, because it, it's it's a topic from you. It's it was from it your brain. Do you, you have to talk about it? You remember it any about, of like, um, It was about like um, people in good talking, having conversations in good faith. It, oh yeah, okay. That's it's always kind of coming back. Um, that's, that's always a good conversation. I accuse people of yeah, that. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. I remember, I, I remember the conversation you're referencing. I'm trying to think but, about <laughs> the details are um, about how you, yeah, your 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 motivation for having conversations because if, you're, if your motivation is to be understood, I think some of the language you you choose and some of your approach gets in the way of that. But He's so I'm, live I'm not always sure if you're trying to be understood more than you're trying to get a certain language or rhetoric out there. Wow. You know no, him I'm, better. I'm, I agree. I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying. I to be disagree understood. a thousand percent. He's all about the words. He chooses his words right. He's not trying to color them and all of that shit. Yeah, I, but no, a lot I, of the words he chooses confuses the issue, and he could yeah. choose other words that make it more clear. But he do, he chooses these other words that make it more confusing. We run into that all the time when he and I. I talk. know you know more than uh, I yeah. do. Yeah, I got to pay more attention because you know I see he's the most plain smoking fuck I know. I mean, I try to be, but like, I, I understand that, like, obviously, you know, communication is always going to be imperfect, and there's always going to be issues with it. But I, I always, I, I do strive to to be understood. Um, uh -oh. You'd be the best example, as opposed to putting his agenda in there. Maybe you see more of that than I do. Uh, I, mean, I, I do I, definitely put what, my agenda. I'm, I'm sure you I just I'm sure you're open about it. Hiding. Uh, uh, hiding uh, something. If you have a good point, if I'll tell you, ah, uh, great point. Uh, another motherfucker will intentionally run from that shit. Lib doesn't do that. He'll give his counter. Uh, he, he doesn't. Uh, fear, um, he's coming in honesty and shit to the conversation. It, it, it appears so to me. Yeah, yeah I'm, but, I'm definitely not accusing him of dishonesty. Okay. Right. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I think the the big thing is like that. I'll use phrases like I'll I'll call myself a communist, but and then oh, yeah. like ah oh, yes, you you like the USSR, um, yeah. uh, which like I'm not. I'm not get totally it. unsympathetic to the perspective. However, yeah. like, like me saying white people, I know the triggers it causes. I do it because I'm a bad yeah. kid. It sets me <laughs> back more than it helps me. And I can't help it. Yeah, that that kind of maybe is some <laughs> of the point. Why do you do it if you're trying to get your message out? If you know that. It's gonna it put more noise in the signal than it actually. I think adds. it's because I'm a child and I'm angry and I haven't learned how to communicate and I'm angry. That anger play a part. Hey, a what? I want to go out on a limb here and I want to ask Joe: Do uh, you feel like anger is just embedded in black people? It has certainly become part of our culture. Uh, uh, our culture has become anti-culture. We've been mm -hmm. fighting that 70s shit never died. We just fight it as thugs now. We hate the system, always have, and it comes off as anger. Yes, are we angrier or anything like that? We even communicate angrier. I had to change the way I talk when I come on the internet. And we even communicate different. Like uh, if you're from my, you're not from my neighborhood and, and you're over there, you'll swear two people up arguing. I've seen people do it all the time over there arguing. I'm like, no, they're clearly best friends. Yeah. And we talk, nigga, yo bitch ass, you the mm -hmm. one who said mm -hmm. that's just normal conversation. Mm -hmm. That only rise mm -hmm. to anger, really. So are we really angry? Uh, I don't know. We're really angry about this racist, about the system shit, which we was born and bred up in us. So yes, if you see well, how that, come that all not all black people I know. No, 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 it's God, a no. It's the culture thing. It's, it's like culture, right? Yeah. yeah, it's it's if you if you grew up around that kind of culture, which I all mean, my sisters and and they they moved to the suburbs early and got married. They're not like me or the people who stayed in the inner city. They're totally different. They're squares and get a job, go vote. So and they know, got they out of the ghetto. <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, yeah, but like. Is, is it does it not make sense that people who are in a impoverished uh, area that uh, you know is has um, dis, uh, disproportionately suffered from the um, effects of racism in yes. the past? Would that no, be no, I think no, no. Hey, go, hey, go. <laughs> the people in impoverished areas, yes, are suffering the effects of poverty. 
Not racism. You've, you well, switched no, from no, poverty no, to no, racism. No, no, no. Well, no, no, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not going to let you get away with that oh, little so, slide. No, is that a point? No, well, okay. Uh, my apologies then if I was attempting to sleight of hand it. What I was trying to say is that ghettos are areas, uh, typically yeah, are areas that historically, um, yeah, and, and white ghettos. White ghettos also are, um, histor okay. are historically like an issue with like, it's a racism thing. Um, racism and classism, it kind of intermixes in America. Yeah. Um, yeah. But for uh, the racists, they could uh, take it out more on the on, on the poor. It happens. Just the racist is stronger if he's in a position of power. In my city, certainly before uh, cameras, you know, they, they just say and do crazy shit. Uh, shit that I've never even seen a tenth of in on TV or in a movie or something. Nothing like uh, the way they were before cameras. They were really brutal. And they just pull up to the corner. You better get the fuck off my corner, just to anybody. Uh, you know, uh, you know, a, a woman standing. I was talking to a friend with her daughter. She just walked home. She was, get the fuck off my corner. If I don't come back, I'm locking you niggas up. Uh, he probably said you niggas. And I'm like, uh, uh, officer, this one. I was she officer. We both live on the block. She stays right there. She just walked her daughter home from school. I don't give a fuck if y'all back out here when I come around. I'm locking both of you motherfuckers up. Was and you, it's just was you, the way they talk to us all day, every day. They was you born and raised in Chicago, Joe? Yeah. So yeah, you I, you grew up under Daily then? Uh, yes, I remember the Daily fucking machine and all of this. Yep, yes. Yeah, uh, Mayor Byrne. Uh, you know, I'm old school. Howard Washington. Uh, you know, all that shit. Uh, shit, I don't know where I, where I was. Yeah, yeah. Um, that that uh, the racism and when you're impoverished, you know, you're black and you're poor, it doubles. Uh, you know, a regular black guy got issues, but not like a poor black motherfucker. Yeah. It, it doubles and it compounds. You got a shreddy uh, calling John, you John, black? Or, or uh, was it John, John Lemon? Don, Don Lemon. Don, Don Lemon. Lemon. Oh, Don Lemon even talked about Lemon. this. Uh, Don he, Lemon. He, he, he even talked about this. He was like, yeah, no, I've been a very successful, uh, you know, black man, but like I've absolutely, but like I had to work harder than a lot of my white colleagues did because I'm black. Um, how does he? Know, how do you measure how soul. hard people have to work? Like, how does he measure exactly. how hard his white well, it's, colleagues it's, have a, to it's, work? A, it's, a, it's about perception. It's subjective, so right? Right. It's yeah. about the subjective perceptual bullshit. Sure. I've had to work twice as hard as anybody. Does, does, I've subject, with. does, does subjective mean not real? No, it doesn't mean not real, but it does. It does mean the solution for it is not an external solution that involves people outside of your oh, own little subjective bubble. Sure, but I mean I'm not talking about it. solutions. Right I don't now. have I'm to do anything about the, as a I'm result of about, your subjectivity. Sure, I'm not saying that. I'm just like saying that. That, that the problem is exists subjectively. Yes, sure. I have no yeah. problem with saying that systemic racism is psychological. Uh, well, no, 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 no. That's a different thing. <laughs> Systemic racism is a different thing uh, than what we were talking about. Or imaginary racism or superstitious, whatever, whatever it is that y'all are seeing. How many black, like Joe, in a day, if like say yeah. you encounter twenty white people randomly around the city, yeah. how many of them do you think are racist in your head? Like that racist white person. Well, uh, generally speaking, not so much. But there, I know there are parts of the city where I go to, and that figure goes up enormously. There are parts that I mean, it also hardcore racist. I mean, it also depends on what you mean. It also depends on two things. A, it depends on what you mean by a uh, 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 racist, and whatever B, he means by whatever his okay. And B, it also like a lot of for 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 the most part, like. You don't really. It's very difficult to tell how racist someone is unless they're yeah, act, unless is. they're yes. actively acting racist. Yes. Which yeah. oh, even uh, then, that's, even that's then, the world I've always lived in. All of a sudden, on, yeah, everybody yeah. has this magical ability to detect all of this not obvious racism. Yeah, and there's and there's wait, a wait, difference wait, wait, between wait, wait. racism and bias. Let's do this classism shit then. Let's do that that argument first. Okay. It would be would have to be the same argument for classism. Uh, I, as a poor person, I feel like I go into a store and I'm looked down on. You can you can understand and you do believe uh, that it's easier to understand that they look down on. Oh, why are they in the store? They're gonna steal something. The poor. You see that. Do you see it? You should be able to see it that it's at least feasible with race, too. The same way the rich look down at the poor, there is a, a amount you? of white looking down at black. Uh, I can go into a black store and get the same treatment. I mean, it bothers... Oh. 
hang on, hang on, really fast. I can acknowledge it, that. Why can't white people? Yeah, it, it like, just doesn't bother me to the extent that it does you. I, I get that a little get bit. Autistic you people get that sometimes, and you're right. Poor people, like when I go into a fancy department store or something, it's obvious I don't belong in there. But it doesn't bother me. Like uh, the, by the time I've walked out of the store, I've already forgot yes. about it. You, you notice, Jeff? Check this out. Here's your white privilege. You can say. Uh, yes, yeah, so, you know, as a poor person, I walk into the store, it's obvious that I don't belong in there. But I'll accept that. Wait, wait, person. wait, wait. I'll accept that. But when I tell my story as a black person, it's obvious uh, I don't belong there. You question me to no end. You don't even believe me. What is that? I didn't say it. I, I don't believe you about the reason for it is that everybody's racist. I'm not well, that denying is, your I'm, subjective I'm, feeling of it. So if I told you, uh, um, no, no, no. I was. I know what it's subjective. like to feel like you don't belong in a store, or like you people. Yes, are but are you right? Your eyes on you, but that's not like a, a traumatic event to me. I wasn't talking about traumatic effect. Is it a thing that uh the 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 person, the poor person who walked in that store, didn't feel welcome? And it's not just subjective. He was correct. Is that feasible? Wait, say the part again. The last part. The, the oh, poor the person that walked in and and felt uh, uh that he like didn't if belong he walked there. into Nordstrom's or something and, and walked out and said, "I didn't really feel welcomed in there." Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say okay, I could I could maybe see why. And you it's can not understand that. It's it, not really like catered to people like you for sure. Yeah, yeah, but you're keeping it in a subjective realm. I'm trying to take it objective. Is it possible that there are things that not just cater that uh, that imply we don't want you here and the people well, look it, at it's him hard to, and it's, to, it's hard to use words like imply and talk about taking it into the objective realm because it implied is not going to get us to anything close well to we can cut to the chase you tell me uh is it uh do, do rich stores let's take gucci and uh and a poor person walks in there and he doesn't look like he have the money is it a real thing that he'll get different treatment and all? And yeah, yeah. I've I've never yeah. I've never gotten different. No one's asked me to leave. No one's been rude Ooh. to me. Okay, so that was a non like if they had a sign that said "No poor people" or if a salesperson said, uh, "Hey, you that. poor person, you don't belong here. Leave." I would take that as like something objective, saying, "God, they really." Don't want the, poor people. It's obvious because they're saying it verbally that they yes, don't. Yes, yes. This here. is this is the same racism argument, the same you, flat Earth argument. Um, do you think if a think person? The, do you think the only way it can be obvious is if they say it? Apparently, do, he do you, he said objective. So, like in court, if you were uh, like charge, the judge would say, "Okay, what's your evidence?" And he would want something objective. I want it. Not your just shit, Jeff. The, all the mannequins were white, so I felt like I didn't belong there. That's, I wanted that's your shit, Jeff. Enough. I didn't want court. I wanted yours. Are yeah. you aware that it goes? You, on? you use the word you. objective, so I'm using their scientific standards of objectivity. There's legal standards of objectivity. Okay, there's well, philosophical standards. So I'm, what so conclusion any of those do you, you reach? Want. What I was picking you a legal took it standard. to court. Yes. So what do you think? Uh, the legal standard thrown in there with all the other shit. Um, all right. I can leave it alone, man. I, this is I. This is what I was saying earlier, Lib. I was saying it depends on the person. About, I'm confused about how you're connected to flat Earth. That, that's the only question I have. Because like, because I, I, I was I telling, yeah. I was telling <laughs> Lib earlier uh, that it looks like. Uh, a person cannot understand. We're talking about the Bible too. Can not only understand it. We're talking about reading the Bible. Uh, it depends on uh, the the way he thinks. Depends on the person. Uh, it's like in flat Earth, yeah. as I threw them in there and said they're the same way. They just don't seem uh, capable of understanding uh, that things were meant on a higher level or shit like that. Comparing it to the Bible, comparing it to the I, I, uh, I, book. I've I, I, I honestly wondered <laughs> if if flat Earthers actually have like a. a actually have like a, a an issue in their brain that doesn't allow them to see the curvature because i can it's see like it, I, I can see it on a math this small I, I, shit I, jeff is intelligent yeah. how he can't grasp this is beyond me I, and I, people who i think are intelligent joe i basically agreed with you i understand yeah. that feeling you're describing of being in a store i felt it myself what I, what i'm not seeing is that you use that as conclusive proof that the person doing it is racism and i don't 
necessarily draw racism for that's I, the I, only I, thing I we told disagree you that on, but I, I understand made, everything you're saying about the experience i wasn't trying to say it's conclusive uh proof uh, in fact i was i said that you if i showed you 20 of these icons it's not proof and i'm aware of that uh you would have to have a million of these things before you can start saying you know what this thing does exist because there is no sign people are not stupid they're not going to say niggers racism stay out. is if if, if if you want to believe that the world is racist and against you, then fine, you're free to believe that. But what would it be like if you if you just accepted that most people don't care that you're black and like and you had a different narrative going in your head? Like, well, how different been, would your life be? Yeah, you, you get my, a payoff from this somehow yeah, by keeping this going. I, I, I think my that my payoff is I'm trying to get my people from being hurt. When you went back into the '60s, white people gave the same argument. Sit's fine. They're causing, they're stirring up trouble. Everything is fine. Look, they got their own water fountains. Even the black sheep was in there. Yeah, you're stirring up the good Negroes. But it was real. Not getting and hurt wait, 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 by having an uncomfortable let me experience. Let me finish. Let me finish. Like not then, feeling let me finish. Let me finish. Hear my the point. Kind of getting hurt. Don't harp on one word to avoid the point. Here is the point. 40 years later, uh, white people look up and say, it's clear that those niggas was racist and fucking up. It's the same thing going on now. The white I, people I'm like to you are saying, the sales ah, lady sir, it's not just really thing. 40 years racist. from now, white people are going to look back and say, it was racist as shit back I then. No, I need more than just your opinion to go off of. If I'm gonna I know, so did the guys in the 60s who thought racism was not real. They said they were in slavery days when they wrote the Constitution. They thought, yeah, it's not so bad. If you want to believe that uh, most white people didn't do it, but you're missing out. You are depriving yourself of, of getting what? to know some people you that really are not racist. There's that... one person who I haven't went to know and went to meet and not friends with. One person, I've about denied that and searched that out. One of any race. Is there one person that exists that I've avoided? No. Because certainly not because of nothing like race. I got more white friends than you got. Probably got more gay friends than you got. More trans probably friends do. than you got. Probably. I don't know, boy. That shit, even though I disagree with it. I'm sorry for getting emotional. No, no, you're. You're. You know, um, <laughs> black people are allowed to be emotional. I, I, I do. I do. <laughs> My friend, my black friend told me, this is what he told me. He said, I'm going to tell you why white people don't like black people. There's three reasons we're loud, yeah. we're emotional. And we're intense. So I think those are the three. And I said, yeah. I'm all three of those things. I'm said that's the same thing they say about me. Every time they're complaining about me, those are the three things they complain that's about. Kind of yeah. sounds like rednecks too. But then again, yeah. you know. that, no, it's exactly. the lower class. We're not like polished, refined, sophisticated, sedity, and proper like yes. the white people. It's the, it's a marker. It's a class uh, marker. When, when I around my girl and I say something like, oh, I love white people. She's like, what? Motherfucker, you always talk about white people. And I, and I got to make that distinction. Most white people, white people are like y'all. And then when I'm talking about oh, white people, when I'm angry, I am talking, it ain't you niggas. It ain't nobody that resemble y'all. Well, do if you're angry at us, you wasted your anger because like most of us are not doing anything to you. We want you to succeed and be part of society like everybody else. I'm angry because... If you don't see what I see, you can't help me work out this puzzle. And, and, and what, what happens is you're in a better position than I am because uh, people will, will uh, show more of their true colors uh, uh, among white motherfuckers. Every white motherfucker I know say that shit. People are on their P's and Q's when a black motherfucker steps into the room. You could do better uh, to, uh, to, to, to fight my battle than I ever could. Just like like you right. want me to go fuss at the sales lady on your behalf instead I of do. help you do learn to not let the shopping God. experience affect you in the first place? Yes. That's how I'm trying to help you. I'm yes. just not doing the, the you, giving you the kind of help you want, which is probably, somebody to champion your you battles against this imaginary racism. I'm trying yes. to fortify you internally against it. Why is it so, imaginary? I had a friend, a uh, black friend, who, who, who explained to me how white people couldn't get to heaven. I spent three hours battling that nigga and tell him how wrong he was. I feel mm -hmm. like in the terms that we're speaking, yes, I was fighting that the battle for white people. I want you to do the same for me. Yes. What do you What do you need me to do? What What battle are you currently in that I can help with? Uh, okay, here's a simple one. Is there a white person? I have something I want to. Uh, black people go uh, get more time and more tickets and. So and, what uh, am I? System. What can I do about that? What you want to call the judge? You figure it out. They the hit, I'm You're white. You don't guy. know me, but. 
you're a smart guy. Figure it out. If hey, you want to help me, help me out there. Hey, 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 you're yeah. you on a face an uncomfortable truth. Like, when watch that watch that little like uh, the comedy video I just put, put in the little back. We can, we can't watch videos here apparently. Uh, Maybe it's no, just black people. We can watch no. some no, if they one. meet no. my judgment of what's not going to get me a copyright strike, and no, I'm not going to apologize for looking out for my channel. I didn't no, say to watch it on the stream. I didn't say to watch it on the stream. Joe, yes. you know how you were saying, like, when you walk into a, gro a store and you feel like you don't belong there? Like, I myself had that same um, that same type of feeling. I never said that happened to me. No, I'm, I I'm, I'm But just it has, but I never said yeah. that. <laughs> but, yeah, but go ahead. <laughs> but it, it definitely, I have felt that way in my younger days, like, because, you know, maybe I wasn't dressed the appropriate way, or maybe I didn't smell as beautiful as the other ladies did. Yes. And I, yes. that really, that really got to me, you know, because these women, they be just putting on this perfume like nobody's business, right? You just made Jeff's big coffee all over the Like, y'all know when y'all, a woman walks by you and you still smell her for the next I 20 minutes, you know? And so... When I started That's working, the one at, you want to right? And when I started working at the club, and um, I started getting the people that would come in with the black card, they were always the guys dressed in jeans and t shirts and just chucks on. They were yeah. never overdressed and they were never flashy. They were real everyday. rich people don't feel the need to come right. And, say, right. and so then I started thinking about that, and now the well, I. They don't know if I'm rich or not. I just got to be my authentic self. And if I yes. just have that vibe, like, I don't know if you've ever seen Boiler Room where um, uh, Ben Affleck goes, yeah, just act as if, movie. act as yes. if, act yes. as if your dick is 12 inches long. Just act yes. like, you know yes. what I mean? And so I, I, act like, wisdom. I act like I belong in this store because I do belong in this store because it's a store that's open to the public and I'm in public and I'm a person and I'm shopping. And here's, I, here's I'm my there. set there. A lot of times on the racism uh, set, um, I get treated differently uh, when we go out after cop watch. And it might be seven of us or something, and we oh. go to a bar. Always, always feel like I get treated differently. Uh, and I told my cop watching friends this shit, and they didn't believe it. And we've done shit, uh, uh, and and to to prove whether I was right or wrong. Uh, but if I go in there, even the the, the I go in there, and the waiter waiter uh, gives drinks to the two people on the white folks on and sides of me and won't acknowledge me, walk away as I'm saying, "Ma'am, ma'am," the white motherfucker, I say, "Excuse me, could you give him a beer also?" And then they'll. Turn How many times has that happened? Ah, I got to happen on live and all of that shit. We've done it several times just to test the theory, but that's not what I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about even in those bars, when I leave, I am the most popular motherfucker in there because I take that attitude that you're talking about. No one wants me to leave the entire where I, that seat where no one wanted to be will be full of the entire bar will be surrounding that seat. And, you know, everybody be shaking my hand as I leave out that motherfucker place. That's all attitude. Yeah, it is. And, and once you learn that, Oh, so I think man. You got it. You're in the game. Handled. Chris, that was, a, that was a great video you posted, by the way. It's, I'm way less worried about you now. Like, I don't think you need us at all. What Wonder Shows and is Wonder Shows is one of the greatest gifts ever given to humanity. So Slaves I, built the pyramids. Slaves, slaves built the built the Parthenon. Parthenon. Slaves oh, built America. <laughs> slaves, this is your song. I hope it's not copyrighted. I don't think so. I would I'll be right back. I, I'd have, I'd have to guess. Right. Probably not. Um, you can't even like they, they don't even have they don't even have like that they don't have that show posted. It, this it shows like, you can't even legally access that show anywhere unless you have like the the bootlegs of it. Like I I, I actually had the DVDs back in the day. What's but, it? What's uh, it all from? Do, Wonder shows them. Wonder shows. I. No it's idea. it's the the guys that it's the same say, like right now like the one of the two guys is like the head writer for South Park now. Yeah. He's like the the he's like the Vernon Chapman's like the main guy behind South Park now, but uh, it's mm -hmm. uh they also made Xavier Renegade Angel and uh, they made shows like uh, um the Shivering the, the Shivering Truth on Adult Swim. They also made uh, ho the, the Heart She Hollers. Uh, they made all these some insane shows, and uh, the first show they made was called Wonder Shows, and it was like a fake kid show. 
It was like the, the theme song was really kids show, kids show. Oh my lord, it's a kids show. <laughs> oh, I was, I was thinking it was going to be like kids show, kids show. This is a fucking kids show. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Show. I mean, but it's, it's like, it's basically, basically by the end of it, it's like, it's like, you know, it, it, it also has like a, it, it, it's immediately followed by like a, a, a disclaimer. It's like this should never be watched by any children or anyone ever. <laughs> anyone ever. <laughs> <laughs> They have, they have, they have, the, they have the, the slaves one. They have another one. They, they have another one like uh, talking about taking it back. Like they're talking about taking back slurs against people. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's like you know, it's like you know, the f, f word we're taking it back. The n word we're taking it yeah. back. And then it's, and then it says women we're taking it back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! Oh, that's too good. That's too good. Oh, it's yeah. it's a great show. I, I've I've played it on the I played it on the on the Discord before. Yeah, I, I, I just I, I just run it. I, I run it sometimes on Discord just just for people to stop in and just enjoy it because it's a it's extremely extremely funny. There is there is an there's an episode called Horse Apples that's like it's got like I mean a who's who of like of comics in it like Pat Oswalt, David Cross, um, just tons and tons of people, um, and the whole thing is a parody of Hee Haw, and it's all all it is is them like do it like doing those Hee Haw bits, but they just they just pop up. And, uh, and, say the and say the most racist shit you can imagine. <laughs> he he, he <laughs> definitely does flow. I got a roast somewhere where my friends roasted me, and all the jokes jokes were racist. Funniest shit you'll ever see. Oh, yeah. I, I, it's on somebody's channel somewhere. Oh, man. Funniest Look, there's shit. Nothing, was... There's nothing better than like actually funny, like. Uh, 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 irreverent jokes. Like when when jokes are when irreverent jokes are actually funny, they're like some yeah. of the funniest things in the world. Oh yeah, um, like, like, like early Daniel, some of the early, Daniel Tosh's early stuff. Like, like yeah, yeah, really great, great, Early, early, his early stuff. His later stuff has got got really like kind of lame after he did that show for a long time. I think he got burnt out, but um, he's like his first special, like completely serious or something like that. Like there was like on the the audio version of that, there was like a thing about a. Uh, uh, about like you know about what each kind of race tastes like. <laughs> it's like you know, like Chinese people. Are you hungry an hour later? You know, uh, you know, white people that taste like ch fried chicken or watermelon. Uh, white like, people uh, got like, no uh, flavor. No, no, white people <laughs> got no <laughs> flavor. Yeah, and, and white white people is like is like you don't eat white people. <laughs> right. It's just the rules. It's just the rules. Don't blame me. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Good stuff. <laughs> Hell, even uh, Dave, Dave, Dave Chappelle does some really funny, like racist oh, Dave humor Dave, and Dave, stuff. Dave, Dave Chappelle, yeah. great, great, great joke. I, I, mean, I, I haven't thought his last few specials have been all that funny. They've been more. I think he's been so marred in all, all this, like. Yeah. Trans controversy. He's, he's, he, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it's it's uh, just turned. It, he's turned. He's turned into like it's more like TED talks, and they are like mm -hmm. comedy yeah, shows. Yeah. But, I uh, also think it's because when we last saw him, he had been you know practicing so much and building up to that point where he was so good. Everybody, when you stop for forty fucking years, I don't know how long he stopped. When you talk for that long, and then you start rebuilding up, and he's not grinding like he was grinding uh, six shows a week type shit. I think it's just the signs that. He is not the, the, the in the room working like he used to be. He is just this is just he's still him. good. No, he's still he's, he's still good. I, uh, I think he says a lot of poignant things, but I don't think he's not as funny as he used to be. But like I mean, yeah. his show, his show. I mean, show, I'm, everybody knows like the the blind black white supremacist is one yes, of the funniest yes, sketches, yes. Sketches uh, of all I can't think his name right now, but yes, yeah, yeah, I mean, I like just just the, uh, the, the, the or. Uh, <laughs> Fuck! What's his name but, from but Boondocks? The, the Wayne Brady, the Wayne Brady sketch is my all-time favorite. Yes, Ron, bitch, like, <laughs> <this one. laughs> Eat your damn sandwich, Dave. Eat your sandwich. Give me a sandwich, Dave. It's kind of like when Robin Williams. Robin Williams be funny yeah. as hell, except when he did that that Bush skit or that Bush movie or whatever it was where he was trying to that, dog on Bush. That what movie. I don't know. I don't really remember. I don't know what you're it was a comedy I, special. No idea what movie that was. Patch yeah. Adams. <laughs> no, 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 no. He was actually doing a comedy routine. Oh, like Stanley. Uh, it was Stanley. Oh, Stan. Yeah. Well, Robin Williams. Oh, I don't know. I don't think it was Will Ferrell. Yeah. You think it was Will Ferrell? Because there was a one. I remember Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. No, no, not Will, Will Ferrell. Ferrell did a whole thing in like his George W. Bush. 
He had like the impression. black Condoleezza rise with him and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah. I, mean, uh, he, I mean, I remember Will Ferrell did that whole did a whole comedy special as George W. Bush, but I I, I think like Will Ferrell. I mean, that sounds myself. That sounds that sounds fucking hilarious. You think actually. he's what? Stupid. Oh, I like. I, 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 like I think I think I think Will Ferrell back on SNL, man. Like he he could make he could do he could have he could have sketches where he was doing nothing and still be funny. He 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 just like he had the right he just has like that skill to just like be funny. One day in that fun. more cowbell that was him. One day with the, the baby. <laughs> yeah, like, like, that's a good example. That skit on paper isn't even all that funny, but like the way Will Ferrell like performed that skit made it yeah. funny. You know, he he, yeah. he could like like pure force of will. He had the artists cracking up. He had the other comedians, you know, and had their faces because they were laughing. It was shit was so funny. God, that's reminding me. Now I want to go rewatch Anchorman. Fuck. All right. Oh, Anchorman my... was great. Anchorman one. Yeah, the first Anchorman, Anchorman one. So good. Uh, so, good. Uh, so good. Nothing better. Anchorman two is yeah. yeah. Dave right. Chappelle, my favorite, uh, at least one of comedy movie of all time would have to be half baked. Half baked. Yeah, Dave right. Chappelle too. <laughs> I just, uh, I just recently, I just recently just, rewatched just Blazing just Shadow. Fuck you, fuck battles. you, fuck you, fuck you. Your cool scene is you like, you're like, cool. Fuck yeah. you, and I'm out. <laughs> Blaz- Blazing Saddles is a good movie too. I, I never, I never got the humor from that. Like, Mel I mean, when I, they never made me laugh. Really? Yeah. I want to rewatch it. I love that I ain't seen it since I was a kid. I want to watch it again. I, it's, I it, it, it holds up. Time. It holds up. I it bet does. I get more of the jokes because they were all racial jokes and weed jokes. It's probably shit that I get more now than when I was younger. Yeah, probably. probably so. yeah. I, 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 would, I would imagine it's the same with me because, like, I, I mean, I, a lot of a lot of Mel Brooks's humor went way over my head. I saw mm-hmm. a lot of Mel Brooks films whenever I was really young, like uh, Robin Hoodman in Tights. I remember seeing that a bunch of times whenever. Oh yeah. I was a kid, and and like you know, I I, I, did, I didn't get most of the jokes in it back when I was a kid, but I'm sure I'd, I guess more. Yeah. I think I, I think I think Young Frankenstein's hilarious myself. I I, 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 I forgot about Robin Young movie. Frankenstein. I saw that the, the putting on the Ritz scene is just is just pure genius to me. <laughs> like it's just like That's another movie. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, just all the build up, all, 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 all the build up to like him going. Ah, 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 ah. It's just like <laughs> I, 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 it's really basic humor, but I tell you, <laughs> I'm back. Uh, oh, nice, we're back. We were just talking movies. Mel Brooks. Yeah, we were just talking about you. Spaghetti, I hope. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I hope the spaghetti's gone. Never hmm. mind. Oh, oh, right. What Rant said earlier. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Why did you have to remind me of Rant again? Like, oh, my I, Chris. I, I, I love I how you go. Well, you know, I thought it's gone now, so there's a vacuum. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Look, okay, well, so Rant, it's, it's rant a was a terrible just, fill in. Yeah, I was going to say, we can just leave that vacuum empty for, for yeah. all I care. We well, can just he, fill it in. He, with with concrete, he panel okay. quit. So y'all may y'all might get your wish, <laughs> but you got to be careful of your trolls because you complain about it. But there's always going to be one, at least one troll taking up the slot. So you have to be as far as they go, yeah. 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 about who funny, you want as your troll. Care. I like Frank's a troll in the comments. Okay, Frank yeah. trolls us in the comments. Yeah, Frank's our comment troll for sure. He's, he's, Whoa, he's, where Frank he's, is he's, not a troll. Tro- Frank is an tro- outstanding tro- chatter. I think that and about he's Rand. really funny. He's, he's really funny. Well, That's why I, I don't, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at least. It doesn't bother me at least when someone's funny with mm-hmm. their jokes. But like, but just just like you know, just being like just like calling just calling people insults and stuff like that. Just it's not. Yeah. Unless, yeah. yeah when insults, Rand, the insults when have got to be good. That and he he was talking a, over people. That's when I can't. take I know, it but I like as somebody that works with neurodivergent and people like Rand and stuff. Like he he was. I'd give him a decent grade today. Oh, I mean, like, think oh, if you're gonna have a resident, there were awesome. there were only a few little moments where he had his little outburst, which happens. Well, with, but he, like a, but he, he instantly he to went to derogatory. Yeah, yeah, he did. with certain people. Yeah. Me, same, same with iFi, and he honestly, and Josh, I, stopped, I, stopped, honestly, I told him Josh, Joshua Jones kind of did too. Um, Do you notice all those people are not here anymore? Because every time they did that, I yeah cut them mm-hmm. off, and then they said I banned them, and they left. Yeah, Cindy no, did they're... good. One well, Joshua day, left uh, voluntarily. Paul was yeah. jumping Joshua up there. Joshua left one. We, we didn't even. I thought I left the Discord, but I didn't. I didn't ban I five from any. All Joshua I did was hide was funny. In, in the comments. Joshua was funny. That is, that is that is fair. 
Joshua, um, Joshua was funny. I find Joshua had the bonus funny. of action. Yeah. Rant, I don't find Ooh, funny at all. I mean, and, and as soon as, oh, as soon I as find anybody, Rant as, so entertaining. As soon as, as, soon as, as soon as anybody starts talking I don't know if I'm laughing at or, or with I, I him. But... <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't even like engage with somebody who takes flat earth seriously. Like I, I just yeah. not even not even a joking context. Well, there's just... people on here, Chris, that you're friends with that are flat earthers. That who? If I debate them out. with you, yeah, point we won't. I, mean, I don't know who all the flat earthers are. I'm just uh, saying. Like, say a good quarter of flat earth days. I'm pretty sure there's nobody on the friends with flat earther. I know. Is, I mean, the only, is, is, the only is person I'm friends with not on this panel. Yes, be... exactly. What I've made this point many, many times. Like pr most of the conflict I get in is other autistic or neurodivergent people. It, like when we get together, you never know what pattern is going to form between each individual person. That's why we keep you guys apart from each other. Sometimes you have to. I mean, sometimes I think that's, that's the best false strategy. Um. That. That neural diversion is a false falsity oh, on YouTube. Is it I don't, people do people do it to get a rise? They're behind that keyboard. They know they're safe, so they're gonna push the boundaries regardless. I don't know what neural well, diversion there may be some is. Some like that, but she means are... like autistic, ADHD, anything sort of in that vein. Joe. So I thought that's what I meant, but then he's saying yeah. he think it's bullshit on the internet. So I thought I misunderstood it. No, yeah, man. no, no, no. Chuck, I did Chuck say, like, yeah, Chuck thinks it's bullshit that it's like the a. Well, a, no, like, I'm saying, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, that it's not. That's not the reason. It's not that they're neurodivergent. It's that you know we're on the internet. People can like hide behind pseudo on an anonymity. Yeah, yep, yep. Um, which I, I, I think that's a a big part of it. But I do think that there's a non-zero amount of it that's like when neurodivergent people sort of like meet you know there's there's often because like you know okay and 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 do are we in, are we are we including just stupid and with neurodivergent does that count as stupid no. as like a neurodivergent because no. like <laughs> rant, a different i don't think rant i don't rant doesn't come across me as being on the spectrum or being anything like <laughs> no. that he just comes across as a moron so like, you need to turn up your brilliant. microphone pops that is, that is technically divergent from typical neuro <laughs> from pops. neurotypical so, I mean, Chris is pops. Say, Can't you tell he's wearing low. pops hat? His red hat is low. pops. You're high. Pops out here too. I'm high. I think. I think Did I just fuck up the mic, trope? You're you're loud. Um, your, think, your mic is hot. Yeah. Mm. I think I think pops is actually probably way smarter than Rant. Actually, pops is pretty. Pops is pretty an smart. idiot. He's an absolute uh, idiot. They, pops believes probably even more weird stuff than Rant does. So if they're using no, 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 intelligent no. to get he's their probably smarter than Rant, but he's, yeah. he's also weirder at the same time. So. I don't know. Rant, I'm going to fall. Hi, Flo. What's up? Did you come to change the conversation? And, and right yeah, I'm and here to chase it around. For dumb shit like that. Rant is smarter than Pops. Pops is Pops is about as smart as like a, a, a border collie or one of the smart dogs. Well, sure, I'm not. I'm not. Pops is a moron. I would have had it by when I said change the conversation, but I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that uh, uh, Pops is smart. I'm saying that he is smarter than Rant. The bar is like on the ground. I think Rant's brilliant. We have to. I we have to is, I what do you know. think he's absolutely brilliant. He just can't oh, keep it together. My. Like I don't. How brilliant can you be? I think, be if you I think he would. Normal brains don't do what. If you doing. can't figure out how to how to communicate your ideas to people without everybody hating you, how brilliant can you be? That's I have one that puzzle. issue. I have that issue. No, you don't. Everybody yeah, likes you, Jeff. Maybe not on these panels. Yeah, but sometimes you don't people, most people. Definitely in real life. Yeah. Most people come here because of you, Jeff. That's the, you're the yeah. main reason people come to the show. I think I they mean, come for the. No, think I about like Jeff you, and man. Hank. You, like you, you can't say that's all autistic that's people. Everybody too. loves Hank. No matter how much Hank tries to make people uh, think he's evil and dislike him, they can't not like him. I don't yeah. know about yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know anybody who truly dislikes Hank. Yeah, I, don't I don't know, know anybody who mean, truly like, dislikes mm, Jeff. Hey, hey, what's your point about it? like I Fi dislikes Jeff? He, I don't oh, know what okay. you guys did to I Fi, but he's offended as fuck. <laughs> uh, I mean, he he dislikes me because he's a saboteur. He's self sabotaging. I'm like one of the few people that actually supports him. So that's yeah. the I don't add anything to his. <laughs> Is that why he likes me? Because I'm mean to him. Gabe. Yes, maybe. I don't know. I, I was mean to him, but like, but then, it, but whenever I mean, I, I wasn't mean but to him. He he got mad because Jeff <laughs> muted him. 
muted him in backstage at one time, but and said that yeah. he was banned, but he wasn't banned. He was just he got muted in backstage one time. That's sensitive. So, he got his somehow Cynthia managed to turn uh, Frank from a troll into a domesticated simp. No, I saw, no, I saw your comment no. there. Hey, yeah. Joe. Yes, you did. <laughs> no, well, you're not. No, we're gonna leave the chat alone. F Joe, how can you say that? Rant is so intelligent, and when he gets backed into a corner, he immediately goes into insulting. I would agree. Like, that shit, the Spurg and Al. That's part not of it. necessarily that's not just spurring. positive. That's just, being, that's just an ad hominem. Okay. It's an ad hominem. Ad All right, but without that part, I mean, without I, that I'm part, that though, too. if uh, like I don't trigger him, so we can have conversations for hours if it's just me and I him somewhere. And and it, never, and he has the ability. Somebody just because they disagree with you. He, he has the ability to uh, grasp concepts that uh, Pops doesn't have. That's the only reason I'm calling him. I agree Pops. with I don't know, Joe Pop, I'm only, that. right. I'm only gauging it off any conversation. When we were asking him, hey, if you've done this research, post it in the back, do, and it's completely defect, d deflecting from it. And yeah. then when, oh, Cynthia, why are you such a fat pig? And then it just yeah. goes into these basic insults. It's like, to me, Paul is sure intelligent and intelligent. he's the same way to me. Paul's the same way. He's intelligent, but, but most times we get around even some Paul, people, he Paul just Slayer. yells and, and, and does crazy It's a complete lack of self-awareness. Self does anyone control. give a shit about Paul and Slave? I don't understand like what the fascination with him is. He's one of those boring fucking... Uh, he is getting more and more boring. I agree. Like I've only watch, I've only watch clips of him, and I can't even get I can't even get through a single like ten minute clip of him without just like clicking off of it because it's just so fucking boring. Like I have he's no so idea what self. It's thinking. all about me, me, me. That shit's unattractive to me. He is such an endless source of like oh, low cow content, though. It's hard to it's hard to forego. <laughs> Like just such easy, Hard to pass easy, that up. It's easy content every day, and it's oh, always man, like he made content for you last night. Uh, Did he? Last... Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It, we, we, yeah. We must have got three hours just off of talking about him and showing yeah. the videos. And it makes it even better when he's you got Red Forty and Paul and Slave fucked your mom and these other little Paul handles down there in, in the comments freaking the fuck out. The more Paul's in the comments section freaking out under an alt account about me making fun of him, the more it encourages me to make fun of him more. You cats were full. I went over to Jesse's last night. I knocked on the door. You cats were full, but it was great over at Jesse's. I yeah, I went to, I was actually going to shuttle my, I was going to raid Jesse at the end. But luckily, I went and checked Jesse out because he was ending like at exactly the same time I was. And so I clicked Ooh. his link and I saw him waving at the camera, just him and Angeline. He's waving yeah. at the camera. I was like, Ooh, good thing I didn't just shuttle <laughs> right. 60, 70 people into here right now. Right. Yeah, y'all said it must have been good. It was packed over there. It was. And then, but when people wanted in, man, last night, more than most nights, when people wanted in, they wanted the fuck in. I think it was Mr. Pie. Some of these people like, Bang, 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 bang. You know when you host a channel and somebody wants in, they can't get in, it gives you that notification, like pop, pop, pop. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. I don't know. I'm not popular, so I don't I don't ever know what that feels like. Lib, this yeah, is because I don't have you problems. Lib, I need you, I'm gonna need you to come back on no, my channel. I'm gonna need you to it's... channel the energy you had the first time. I made like a hundred dollars that day. You were over there, you were pushing your trans commie stuff. My audience couldn't handle it, they were coming undone. Since then you've been very reasonable. Nobody's wanted to kick you at all. <laughs> So you're, you're you're not you're you're not making them that money anymore, Lib. Well, I haven't I haven't I haven't, I haven't been talking about uh uh why I don't and, like why my issues with capitalism or why I like communism. Yeah, right? I've never but heard nothing controversial you have, you have, out you of just, your mouth. You've just, you've just gotten better at communicating. I believe it all the, you uh, use uh, over the, the time you've spent on the panels, <laughs> man. <laughs> you really have. That's you've how got, I feel. Yeah. Anti-capitalist your ideas. That it's like that you're just like it's like it's really hard to like I mean it's it's hard to dislike you for having different views whenever you communicate yeah. your ideas well enough and you're and he's a he's it. a reasonable conversationalist and the more you talk to Lib the more you realize even though he comes in under these ridiculous flags like he's a very reasonable person Did yeah you're ridiculous that? too Jeff is that camouflage 
Are you wearing camouflage? That's a fashion. That's the. That's all you have. I can't see him anymore. That's my ridiculous. No, I just, no, I just <laughs> noticed it. I was trying to. I was trying to figure out why I could only see your head. I couldn't see the rest of you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, all I see is a floating dumb. head, some headphones, and like a little bit of dust. It's very. It's very yeah, here we go. It's just. It's just like. It's like. It's like Jeff is made out of teeth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Flo. Hey, Flo. Here, you offer me a twenty percent cut, and I'll go like full what on, like tanky, thing? like uh, 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 anti-capitalist. I can't like, do I'll that though. So, no matter how capitalistic I am, I can't sell out the integrity of the interaction like that. That's true. That's fair. Valid. That's a reasonable offer, Lip. I have to turn it down though. I don't know why. I don't know why. Like, there's that little bit of Joe Cool in me there, who's like. To about to about my principles and shit to to <laughs> like I never even like my own video. I'm Joe Cool. Like man, <laughs> I never like my videos. I, I like my own videos before I hit live. <laughs> <laughs> I never like mine. I wanted to reflect. I don't want to like I don't, distort I don't the numbers. <laughs> Make sure to hit the like yeah. button for Jeff. Since he won't do it himself. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Jeff. Calls to action are good things. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, call call to action. There you go. Just uh, yeah. you know your friends. Become, become a stochastic terrorist. Yeah. Go up and <laughs> chat with us. Look, use it. You do. You set this up every day. You put your time, energy, and attention into it. And the least these ungrateful motherfuckers can do is hit the like button and share and copy. Absolutely. Don't worry about the Jack, least you can uh, do is go and 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 burn down your neighborhood. Make sure you set the cars on fire. You know, like do some real. Uh, I'm a good I don't want a, a little bit about Jack. If someone can tell me, uh, I think his time is up at his crib. Uh, how's he doing? I haven't seen. I heard he got. He had a sugar daddy. What? Who? Oh, I want him to go live with Lib. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> I feel like Liv would be a good thing for him. Who or Tommy? But Tommy revoked his invitation. No, Lib is going to help him heal. Tom might about? too. The Tom Cot show would no, be fantastic. Tommy, no, no. We have a spot here. I don't know that Tal Cot's the. Wanted to fill it, but <laughs> I'd be afraid I, he'd stab me in my sleep. What I, I think you have watched on your door. Tom 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 does have that weird look in his eyes sometimes where you think, like, you know, you, you look like you think, like, someday he's he's got got that that or, I thought I was a god. But... He I'm got there to send you. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I said, I'd be scared of you. I think I think Talcott's like a he's like a he's like a he's like a human version of a Teletubby. <laughs> See, I feel, I feel like even just saying I'd be scared of Cynthia puts me at risk because I. <laughs> no. Like you, you oh, scared of me? I've been doing some digging on Steven though today. <laughs> okay, so where are we at in the people Cynthia hates ranking? Is Browns boy or Steven number one? No, oh, they're equal. No, that wasn't what I asked you. I mean, that would go Steven first. Steven. <laughs> Who's Steven? Who's Steven? I guess you don't it's, call it it's, it's Steven with the three instead of the yeah. eight. Right. That's oh, not yeah. her new boyfriend. <laughs> no, it's not. No, Sometimes she was on machines. Um. Yeah, do, hey, I, will you will you ask Machine why he's why he's still like pissed at like you know our show like despite the fact that like you know like 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 he, he why don't only you, mad because you were on our show? I've I've moved on from that. Why don't you ask? It? Like, do you still talk to him? I haven't talked to him in a while. No, oh, okay. I just I, I I did try to ask him once, and he no, he, I mean, didn't, not... he didn't have, he never answered me. So I was so like, he holds grudges is all I'm hearing. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. not drawing any conclusions from that. Yeah. He does he does I seem to hold I'm grudges. Joe, Joe, instigating. I'm, 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 I'm still in his server. <laughs> he was mad. He was mad because we let Cynthia on on our show. We all hate um, that. <laughs> after, after, so after, after, there was, after Lindsay did something, I don't know then, why he was mad. I just no, know that he Cynthia. was in a mood that day, and he was cursing out me and Cynthia. Yes, but if I curse you out, I'm back from tomorrow, the comments, really and then he came fuck. on and cursed us in person, and so I um timed him out or something, well, and then he took out of his But we so, never right? actually had a conversation, so I don't. <laughs> 
want to speculate as she to holds grudges. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, yeah. she holds grudges like a motherfucker. Yep. yep. Not, no, yeah. not yeah. really. Yeah, you've, you've been back on TML stream though since then, haven't you, Cynthia? Yeah. Yeah. I can so res if, if, like I can res like if we have a, a disagreement, but you're a respectful person and you do it honorably and you don't always go below the belt or you know, it's just we have disagreements. I can respect that. But if you come in below the belt and you're just a slime ball, then we're always going to have issues. Well, okay, if you so always do that it. Way. If you always <laughs> do it. Uh, you what? Know, you know, like some people punch. like Mars. Mars will, he's cordial most of the time. And then some days he just want to call you everything but your name. Uh, yep. And then he, he'll come back to being normal. So I couldn't hold grudge. But if every day now. he came in calling me names and shit, then it might change the relationship. Oh, shit. I didn't even see the comments. You're right, OG. Liv is a capitalist. Good move. Yeah, we figured that a long time ago. Well, needing needing money and being a capitalist are different. I am actually definitionally not a capitalist. I don't. Uh, he, doesn't believe, he doesn't believe that capitalism is right, but he just participate in capitalism because it's the necessity of the society they live. Sort in. of like how Jack thinks money is evil, yet he demands money. <laughs> I don't. I don't think it would you own my the money production if you had the opportunity? Liv? My money is evil. Wait, what? No, your so, money is the it, most saintly of all money. Liv, Chuck. If you inherited, if you Liv, if you inherited the means of production. Right, you inherited like a like a factory or something. Would you give it to the people? I would like to think I would. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. You'd like to think you would. You'd like to think you would. Yeah. That was a it's good the thing. Same thing I said about uh, <laughs> what, what have we, Bernie Sanders, about <laughs> those yeah, millionaires? Sure. I, I hate so, dogs. Oh, last, and then the yes. day he started getting millions, all of a sudden he didn't have a problem with them. It was the billionaires. So yeah, I don't right. ever. Yep. Try, and I said this to you before a long time ago, Lib. We don't actually know until you get power. Yeah. yeah. What you would why, do. He would be a dictator, just like every other communist. That's why I Because you're in the it position actually, you're in now. But if you suddenly got me. status or power or capital, we don't know what your position is. Well, yeah. if he yeah. suddenly I would, I would got like it, to, he'd be okay. Like if he got it slowly, then he'd be corrupt like every other fuck. If he got it tomorrow, <laughs> he might stand a chance. If he got yeah. it tomorrow, he'd probably OD like the rest of us motherfuckers who got money too fast. No, he'd be a he'd be a tyrant. He'd be a tyrant. Yeah, I, did, like a I, did, I did my I did my too, doing too many drugs days back in the back back way back when I I wouldn't I wouldn't yeah. I just if I wanted drugs, I, I could get them I, now. I could. I would I, I don't, choose. I don't, I don't want them anymore. So I, I would trust them. Lib to rule the planet like a thousand times more than Jack. Yes, Jack would. Hell yes. Uh, Come up with draconian death sentences. If you I, disagree I, with him, you'd go to jail like Kim Jong Un or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, li li oh, live, 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 I would make I would make you god emperor way before I I, I would vote for anybody else. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, cu I'm uh, curious, Jeff. What do you in, what do you, in the panel verse probably? Jeff Jeff said I I knew it. Um, what do you, what do you mean? I answer I tried to answer honestly. I knew, uh, wait, like, I knew what. Oh, this Jeff. Yeah, no, 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 you, you, as in, like, you, I, I, I answered and I said, well, I would like to think that I'd do it, and you were like, I knew it, and, like, yeah, no, I, I don't think I've ever said that yeah. I'm, like, a morally perfect person who no, was, yeah, like, No, I, I get it, always, I feel the same like, way, I feel the same way, I, 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 I'd like to think, I'd like to think that if I, if I got my way and got the things that, I wanted. That your positions are contingent, they're, they're on You know what, your I think position. I would choose Lib over any of you fuckers. <laughs> That's bad news for the rest of you. <laughs> That's I'm, real I'm bad news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would not want to stand on the opposite side. Of you. That means that the rest of y'all have enough personal flaws. <laughs> I, li I choose love for myself because, like, I, I don't trust myself uh, that much. But <laughs> I don't fucking trust either. myself either. That's, that's my. That was my whole point. Is that like I would like to think that I would um up uphold my like like I guess believe my Your morals or whatever. Or whatever right? Yeah, my principles yeah. and and like. I think I have in a lot of cases, like for instance, um, my, uh, my dad is actually very wealthy. I could have, I could like <laughs> accept shitloads of money from him like right now for doing what oh, I don't. We just have I'm wealthy not, dads. We know. Does he have an ex-wife? Like, you, you need to, you need to you need to think about some things with your life. Really well, I have an ex-wife. That didn't mean anything. <laughs> no, no, I need his ex-wife. His dad's ex-wife with all the money. Joe, are you married? 
Uh, it makes you sound like the lead character. No, Joe Tanner. and me live in no, no, sin. No, no. She's asleep. I'm not. There. We we no. found. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we we found just woke up. up. <laughs> they were on Jack right. the other day. What was yeah. her name? Eve. Uh, Liz, Liz, don't don't be Mark from Rent. Don't be Mark from Rent. It's the worst thing you could be. Lisa Carroll. Oh, now Floyd. I mean. Now, once Hi, my, Joe Cool's girlfriend. She knocked out. Once my, <laughs> once my dad passes away, um, oh, see uh, that like, out. like <laughs> I told you, you to get. I'm gonna be getting money. It's gonna be split between like me and my two siblings. Um, and but like, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna take that money, but I'm probably gonna, you know, attempt to use it as wisely as possible. Oh, how, how's horrible. your dad's health now? I'm trying to figure out when to slide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I hope you have a good therapist because your guilt's going to only increase. Look at Jeff Gen X, the capitalist, causing clients. Your guilt is only going to oh, increase. I, I only work with men. I do men's mental health. So yeah. I, you're going to need a guru, yeah, too, I, This is man. not out of selfish. I got a guru for you, Jack. You're going to need a guru to counsel you. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, spiritual definitely. advisor. Yeah. Yeah, Jack, well, oh, yeah. Jack, Jack yeah. wants you free need, education. You need, Joe, you need to take the DEI that route, Jack right? Has, That's your instant in there. I, I have the I don't know DEI is. is. Diversity, I equity, and inclusion. Yeah. He needs he needs some he needs somebody to teach him how to not to be racist. <laughs> oh, I, 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 grew, I grew up I grew, I grew up I grew up I grew up in Memphis. Class. I know how to I know how to not be racist. It's not yeah. that you are yeah. like yeah. people I know are not racist unless yeah. you're yeah. around people that are insisting on fighting it because their whole identity I thought, depends. I on thought it. you were going to say that you knew how to be racist. Because their whole world. Well, I mean, I, I, I believe me, I do. <laughs> is Joe Cool still here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, well he's last, last night sort of towards the end of my stream. I did get an, I got enough new members to do a new uh a new custom emoji. I did I went ahead and I did Mitch because he was Man. He God, fire two Mitch. days. But I did do a poll and three of you here were three of the four. I put Joe Cool, I put Chuck, I put Cynthia, and I put Caucasian Sasquatch. And the next emoji by a huge margin is Joe Cool. <laughs> then yeah. after Joe yeah. Cool. Chuck, you're up next. I don't Holy know about yeah, any of the emojis. Uh -huh. Flo, I, like the, that link I posted earlier, that little comedy link I posted in the back chat there. I highly recommend you you clip that and use that for one of your uh, little like. I, I can't videos. I can't see it. It happened before I got here. Oh, I'll post it again. Later. Just repost. Yeah, I'll have to repost it. Yeah, apparently a lot of people want to throw piss jugs at uh, Joe Cool and Chuck. You can throw piss jugs at the emoji. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, well, there's. Because I've got For piss Brian, jug, a piss jug. I've got a piss jug emoji and a piss emoji. The little Calvin Hobbes thing where he's peeing on. on <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the that's that's what people love doing. They love pissing on people. Oh, right, yeah. I'm right. not sure if that's the audience I'm necessarily trying to draw here. Though. Yeah, I don't think that's not our audience. That's, I could get that, that anywhere. That is, that is close. Well, you say that that's not your close. audience, but you have that whole panel here. Oh yeah, I know. That's, right. uh, that, that, that's a, yeah. Yeah. look. It's yeah. not. It's yeah. only a matter of time that's before the plague of, of locusts flo flocks over here too. He got porn bomb earlier. Yo, he did you say he didn't earlier. know what to do? And I did what you. I I said okay, stop the stream. Set it to private, and then I'm going to go back and clip it and repost it later. And I, I apologize. Called. Why y'all keep bringing that and, up? And I apologize. <laughs> no. Hey, I'll keep bringing Jeff wasn't thing sure thing if he should just keep watching and start masturbating. <laughs> no, I was trying to. <laughs> it took me a while to process what was Jeff happening because like, oh, I'd never hey, been hey, poor. Hey, hey, I couldn't find the, the control to get rid of it, so I was like fumbling around. like a little while. It took like a whole honestly, minute for me to finally. <laughs> honestly, honestly, it, was, it wasn't even like, that, like that, that, that time Cynthia squirted on herself. What? <laughs> hey, I still say that was rant. I don't. I, I can't rant. prove it. I, 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 I just there'd be no mo. He was getting. Yeah. He was getting more attention than he's got for weeks. No, rant. No, no. Rant gets really, no way really he was gonna mad get that when up. he was getting him. people that were <laughs> really actually mad. listening to him and pretending no, to take him no. seriously. And under, there was the female that entered he was into saying, the room, making a halfway attempt to understand. And was he's not gonna get like? There's no way he's gonna. I could. I could see Rant doing that. The one time Rant came on my show, I ended up kicking him out. He spent the next. It was a 
three guy. hours. There was an actual guy. Or do they use like a camera? Is no, a video it, it doesn't matter. They do. Trust me. They know what they're doing. Don't and hold up another computer Dan. device. It was when Lib came in. I think it was a jab at Lib. I think because after a few minutes afterwards, this clown came in and tried to get on. I think what happened, because it's happened on Twitter before, um, the StreamYard link got out on Twitter or social media or something, and these random bots and spam oh. people use those, and they show up randomly on stuff like this. I've seen it Have happen you before. heard Tommy and that was the, the pattern that it looked kids? like it was part of. What? Have you heard what, Tommy what? talk about the Linguini kids? No, yeah, I don't listen to the time. Yeah, and nobody, Tommy. and I never knew what it was. He has v, like, and then last night I was watching Tommy, and like, people come in putting pasta emojis all over in the chat. He actually has like a handful of little bots, trolls, or something that play. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so stupid. I don't ever want my panel to become this stupid. My channel. Uh, the Linguini. We're kids. here. That's yeah, I was about to say. I mean, have, you ever, have, you to, have you ever tried to look? Have you ever tried to look at like Destiny's chats or anybody that gets like that? No, you like, can't like, follow. Like, it's too many. I don't want but, that. But, but what you can see is people just doing like these like like bot. It's clearly mostly bots because it's just the people like they just posting these massive amounts of emojis and yeah, they and do that on like, the Crucible too. Yeah, they throw. Yeah, it's, just, it's just it's annoying as fuck. I don't know why. I don't know why you wouldn't have banned all those people. Like I don't know. I guess maybe there's too many to ban. Because it creates traffic flow. I'm curious lo now if uh, if Joe Cool is engaged now that that we woke up his girl with the questions. I'm trying to keep quiet. <laughs> we know we know who the boss of that house is. Yeah, I work hard. Damn she needs to sleep. It ain't Joe. <laughs> That's right. I'm old school for Re real. <laughs> Re-education camps for all. Yeah. Oh, gee, Jeff, it was this morning, but it was last night for me. It is it is this morning for me. <laughs> yeah, I hear, I hear that. I, 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 I didn't sleep really at all again last night, so I, I, I slept like two hours maybe, so... Yeah, Chris. If oh, I yeah. were in middle school and the cops caught us throwing toilet paper around someone's yard, you're definitely the dad we would be calling. Yeah, let's see if the cat let him out. Yeah. You know, I I actually take that as a compliment. I, I don't yeah. know how else yeah. to take good. it. Yeah, good. I, I, I don't know how else to take it. Like I, I, don't, I, feel, <laughs> I feel complimented by that. And it's I, I don't it's even neither a compliment nor an insult. It's just an observation. You know, Your attire has a lot more range than most people's. Some days you like the last time I think I was up here, you had your like grunge Nirvana look on, right? Like <laughs> I did yeah. the sleepless you did see like, yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Like this man has a this man has a wardrobe range that I don't. I just have hats and t-shirts. I, I I ran a clothing shop, so you know. I have a lot of clothing. Do you really? Or did I'm, you really? Yeah. I, I'm trying to get Yeah, he has a Poshmark now. site too. You can buy. Huh. His oh, I don't buy. I don't, I've I've never bought my own clothes in my fucking life. Yeah. I I went from having a mom to having girlfriends um pretty, yep. pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, that's the only time I really get dressed. Too. When I when I when I became an adult, I kind of realized very quickly how exciting it is to like get clothes for like my birthday or like christmas oh my god because oh, yeah. then that means i don't have to go shopping for clothes i fucking hate shopping for clothes i buy my own I I do, too. Uh, do your family I give you girls clothes? i love shopping because i'm really good at it i'm i'm extremely good at shopping the last time i bought I shoes it. i bought myself every pair of these green shoes that they had in the Wait, store in my see? size that's man <laughs> shit right all right they look like go uh bowling shoes they're no, they're I like, like, uh, I like they're, them. Like, Cynthia well, can attest to this. Yeah, yeah, like do, we, do we not have the best? You know there's an age stores? limit. Oh my gosh, y'all y'all have no the idea. Thrift stores in Texas are so amazing. Like we have like so thrift amazing. stores that have like high end designer shit in them. High and, you, end. and you and you can just like if you if you're good at it, you can go in there and just ah. bum, 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 go through you go through the, you go through the rack so fast and you find the shit that they find that's good. 
and uh, you 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 can go you can walk out like for fifty bucks you can walk out with like a, a, an arm load of like of nice clothes, and you can you can go turn around and sell those if you want to to like one of like the resale shops. Oh, I like those. Money back. Yeah. They're, they're what flavor of boot is that? Timberland. Oh. oh yeah, that's a nice. That's flavor. <laughs> I just got. I wore these to church. These were ten dollars, and these what are church? just. Oh, oh, what a good. These are just. I already, want to, I already want to go to that church. Justin's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I, I, I know, know, like my my wife, Lindsay, Lindsay, just, Lindsay just Lindsay just got some fry some fry boots from uh from the Texas Thrift of the Road like for like ten. Oh. Yep. Yeah. You wouldn't go to my church, why? Because we wore cowboy here. boots, Jeff. No, I said I already want to go to your church. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what you <laughs> want. You that's my boots. favorite shoe in the world. Let me yeah. see, Jeff. The old school famous route. Mm -hmm. oh, the famous. I actually have a, I have a bunch of old school old school feelers. Like I, I, I would be, I, I if I could. Child have labor, different, that, different. no Puma child labor. But honestly, nowadays, like the only sh only shoes I will wear are the ske the Skechers, like the Skechers Go Walks. That's the only shoes I wear because they they feel like clouds. Like you just don't you just don't even notice you're wearing them. Like they feel they're so comfortable. You say Skechers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No Same here. I have a pair of Skechers that are the most comfortable things I've ever put on my feet. I don't ever take yeah, them I just off. can't wear them, right? I, just, I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do when they wear out. Look, I got. I, I, I've been selling off my other my all of my nice. Oh shoes wow! Did you get to wear those from the thrift store? They're the bar, the Sim that, Sim they're custom. They're custom. I really want to get Dude, Except these were five dollars at the thrift store. Yeah, when I wear I don't these, buy shoes from Adidas, thrift right? stores. I don't buy you from shoes. people. Yeah. You, no, no, you no. wash it with vinegar. You no, take vinegar and no, you clean it no, in there. No, I bet no. girls use shoes and guys use shoes are different. Like I could see, Just, I could see uh, Cynthia's yeah. shoes being a hell lot cleaner than like Chuck's. Over, As someone who boots. wears shoes, there's no way I would try to wear somebody else's shoes. No, those are fire, right? People want to uh, buy. You know what I wanted the, though? The thrift stores here, the thrift stores here, half the shoes you see on the thrift stores are new. They've never yes. been worn. You can tell they've never been worn. That means they're stolen. There's, there's no, there's no <laughs> thread marks on them. You look at the heels. You Chuck's got the these conclusions. <laughs> so fast and so black and white. Yeah. Well, saying, I thought I'm so wrong. wrong. See? <laughs> it's like know. it's like it's a math. Y equals mx plus b, right? It's oh, clear, that's right. It's stolen, right? <laughs> it must be stolen then. Obviously, that's stolen. right by a black you know, person. <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> this is why weird. people want to throw piss jugs at Chris, you. Know? They don't understand. <laughs> We're on a gold right. mine it's here. It's a Mexican, definitely. So, um, yeah, no, Chuck is definitely a white crackhead. Adidas, <laughs> Adidas, no made corn, Adidas made a limited run of corn shoes, and I missed my boat. Like I've been corn. looking all corn, over the internet. I don't know what that is either. Yeah. The band. The band. Oh, okay. oh sure. I thought you yeah. Were okay. Because, thought you were because Jonathan Davis, all corn. through the '90s and early 2000s, corn. he just wore that Adidas tracksuit on stage, and finally they did a collab, and like my dumbass missed the pre-order. Uh, Damn. Wow. Is that yeah. why Jesse wears tracksuit? I was just suit? watching that yesterday, <laughs> two days ago. Something takes yeah, I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I come across them, if I come across them in, in one of the thrift stores here, I'll, I'll buy and send them to you because, like, I don't I'm size your ball. Something you can have. I'm a size. I'm a size twelve. I can fit in eleven and a half. Anything in there help, but I probably won't even wear them. That's a, that's a if you find fine. those, if you find those, and they're like, just buy them. I mean, unless they're more than two hundred bucks. I think two hundred bucks oh, is what they retailed I, I mean, for. Yeah, I mean, I, it's a thrift store. It's, it's in a thrift store. Like, they're not gonna be more than twenty bucks. But yeah, yeah, um, you y'all don't know the. I don't think you'll. Range. I don't think you'll come across them, honestly. Okay. I mean, okay. I, I found. Well, I, found <laughs> I found a limited edition. I found a limited edition. Cynthia is optimistic. She's found. Yeah. No. When you're a thrift store guru, it's in you. It's in you. You can't teach it. Either you got it or you don't. And yeah. we got it. That's four people. That's four. Right, people. Chris. No. Yeah. I'm no, poor, you're ignorant. That's not four people. That shit, Chuck. Did you just I call me ignorant? <laughs> no, it Chuck. Poor people shit. It's rich people. Oh yeah, we know yeah. that about I, Chuck. Chuck's <laughs> calling <laughs> poor people. No, that's <laughs> being <laughs> terrible and making my money, money track. Hey, Chris, 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 if you find those shoes, Chris, they're stolen. Uh, that's fine. We hear you when people talk, Chris. If you can bump your mic up a little bit. That's what I said. I said Chris's mic is too low, and everybody's like, "No, don't tell him." Okay. 
Hey, can you? I mean, I, I can turn it up, but like that's I, even I, better. No, no, no. You okay. probably want to speak. I just moved it more in my mouth. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> it got it got <laughs> turned down because originally there was an echo. I think is what happened. Yeah, yeah. probably. No, yeah, I mean, but if I if I see those if I see the 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 deep discord trees, I mean, like I said, like I found I found a, a limited edition of Pharrell track track suit at a, oh, at, wow. a at a thrift giant here. Yeah, sold, I, I I paid I paid sixteen dollars for it, and I got like one hundred fifty bucks for it on on Pop yeah. Mart, so. It oh, must yeah. be nice. Well, I can't fit a thing ever found in the thrift store. My shoes are fourteen. If I'm lucky, I'm fifteen is yeah. normal. I'm not looking, I'm not My arms are too. And that's if you I'm get to stay in long like, enough. I go to straight to the yeah. book section and thrift stores. Yeah. That's about all. And then I leave. See, I'm looking for if I can flip. I don't give a shit about the size it is. And I I have yeah. a similar issue, but for the opposite reason, because I'm like six one and a half, two hundred pounds. I'm like the size of about every man. So it everything's is. gone yeah. in your side. Right, right, right. <laughs> Everybody wants an extra large shirt. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, at the same time, like, I mean, but tw- if you wear a size 12, that, that's that's actually a fairly rare. It's it's hard to find those sizes because they don't make as many of them. Imagine 15. I got to order off the size internet. 10, I can never 10, go like, into a size, store and find like shoes. 10, 10 and half, those like, limited editions. Shit you're talking about, flow. I don't get that. They don't make one 15. Oh, yeah, it's, they it, don't do that. They don't oh, make it for black people. You can't go to the store and buy any shoes. They stop at 13. That shit's over with. Yep. Yeah. You're a 15? Yeah. You said, so you gotta I've, I've you have to special order yours online? I gotta order everything online. Well, yeah. Yeah. Zappos or something? You. you go to Zappos? Oh. Uh I don't actually that's where the women come into play. I she does what that. I want. Yeah, well, you, fine. Chris, Chris, you know what they say about a guy with uh, big feet. They, right, well, they I'm, say, I'm kinda, they kinda, say, kinda, damn, kinda, he got, he got big feet. That's why I'm suspicious of Joe Cole's claim. That's exactly that was a good. There's only a point. <clears throat> is that I, I, I find myself sus- feeling very suspicious about his size 15, 15 size shoe claim because, like, oh, let me yeah, see. That's it. Doesn't that doesn't I like look, that? What what brand nice is shoe, that? Is that a Timberland uh, shoe? Look like a size 15 to me. I don't. That know. is uh, I, I don't know. Hold on. I like that style. A size 12 is a massive shoe. All right, hold on. I'm gonna see if you can see it. You might have to big screen it. To I believe you. If you're, me, yeah. I'm not. I'm not gonna really like. I'm not really gonna doubt you on it. But all right, I don't know if you can see it or not. But, Stop yeah. right. Yep. Yep. yep, yep I got up. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's close, close enough. Yeah. Big fucking big fucking shoes. <laughs> yeah, I, some big fucking shoes. I think. My DC skater shoes are 11 and a half, but like all the Nikes are 12. And basically, 12 is the sometimes 11 and a half works, yeah. depends on the brand. I just, I just, I've just got really I, wide I, feet, so I, yeah, I have really wide. You feet know what they say I, about people with wide feet? <laughs> it got really wide. Feet. <laughs> my, I do. You know, you know I, I have to get like the extra. extra we call them tuna cans. <laughs> when, when, I, oh. when, I wear, when, when I was like a 350 pounds, and I used to be like, you know, you know, you know, you still just have Joe Cool on screen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Thanks. I used to be like 350 pounds, and when I was 350 pounds, I wore an 11 and a half, and then when I lost weight, like my shoe size went wow. down to like 10 and a half. I lost. How my fat feet. were you? <laughs> I was 350 pounds. I just, I just told you I was 350 God pounds. Damn. I was really fat. You're like a beast whale. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was huge, and I, I had no idea until I until I saw the contrast later of like what I looked like. I knew I was fat, but I didn't know I was like. When yeah, you went out in like, public, would you ever like have harpoons hit the wall by you? Like, the harpoon thing got really like I was just what <laughs> clued me in that something was wrong. You know? there, were, there were there were tons of uh, there were tons of really weird old dudes with like eye patches who would who would be like, <laughs> following like, you like, around. Real, man. I mean, like, you know, why do these people like, keep calling me Moby Dick? me around, like I that's rude. What did I do to you, Ahab? What did I do? <laughs> you see these scars? These are harpoon oh. scars. Oh god. <laughs> okay, well, on, 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 on that I note, tried to on, walk up this like ten minutes ago. On, on, on that note, I gotta I actually gotta gotta head out. Y'all have y'all have fun. Y'all be well. It's been fun. Bye, Liv. Yeah. He's gonna oh, make some oil lamps out of Chris. Jack move in.
<laughs> Amber Grease. Where do all these igloos come from? <laughs> there are Eskimos falling oh, around they're, everywhere. They're, 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 trying to, they're trying to make perfume out of me. <laughs> they're racist in Texas. They follow me in the stores. <laughs> it's Eskimos. Yeah, so, so Chris knows what it's like to what it feels like to be black and white neighbors. <laughs> he like He's store. been walking around on land in the warm part of the country. <laughs> There's Inuit sneaking around like cartoon yes. characters hide behind and, light poles and shit. Like Florida, they, 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 right. they were Mexicans at first, but then I noticed they were wearing fur coats in the winter, and I, I realized that you know, something was up, you know? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've just never heard of anybody losing enough weight to change shoe sizes, but I guess I've never really, like, it's, it's not a conversation I've ever had with anybody, though, so I don't know if I would know. My nephew, I, uh, I, I did not a... know that was possible. I did not know it was possible to lose a shoe size. <laughs> yeah, know. it is. My it nephew is. wears a 15. And he was bragging. Well, I don't know bragging. Talking about the longest feet were. And I, I said, I bet mine were longer. We were the same size. We put my feet up, though. My shit was a lot longer. A lot of that shit, so he go down, his shit just go whoop. When he's put his <laughs> down, it just goes whoop. <laughs> uh, so he did big shoes. Oh my god. You guys are funny. I'm trying to end it. Oh. <laughs> Jeff is Jeff is hostage on his own stream over I here. Am, <laughs> par- I, I have laughter paralysis. I still can't see anything but like a head floating with like the net with like just like a I know you gotta stop wearing camouflage, it. man. It's it's, it's, no. it's hey, it's crazy. I love the camo. I want more of Maybe it. he's wearing camouflage because he's hunting whales. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this, this, this whole channel is I'm just a big trap for his next harpoon launch. I'd be a wimpy whale these days, but I used to be. You know, yeah. I used to be. Oh I used to be no, no, I mean, you're good looking. We recognize it. We talk about old shit. I, 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 I used to have plenty up. of blubber. I used to have plenty of blubber to go around. You know, like uh, they, they would, I would have been highly prized for. Dude, the, you should see how fat I've gotten since I've started streaming. Like I just sit here and eat. <laughs> Right. I told I told Katie I was like I'm gonna have to start smoking meth again. I eat too much food. This shit. This I need a drug habit because this food habit is unsustainable. I'm not gonna lie. Jeff has me wanting to start a puzzle when I'm on your panel. Just work on my puzzle like yeah. Jeff does. It's very really, it, it keeps me. I can focus and listen better. Yeah. To yeah. Be really or you do should my start nails. a puzzle so if you have to kill these white boys. Just... What kind of puzzle are you working on, Jeff? Um. I was doing a logic puzzle earlier. Sometimes I do a jigsaw. I bet those are hard for you. What is a logic puzzle? <laughs> you know, the grid. The, um, like a Sudoku or something? K- kind no. of. Actually, I love Sudoku. <laughs> I don't too. know how to say that I word. They're too. fun puzzles. I love it, too. I feel yeah. smart Sudoku. when I do it. You're not. I like the ones with the, the symbols, the, the pictures, not the uh, number number ones. Right. Okay. Why Dude, are you I, the flow I, I, the state board management flow? Oh, uh, somebody changed my name to that because I was talking about Ouija boards yeah, and how I wouldn't let them in my things, fucking Joe, car. Like, like you eliminate like Nathan was either the skating the three or the county fair. Um, what? Oh, is wow. that a full moon again? Yeah, I feel dope. like it was just. It tells a you the moon. seven man Frank was here. So if you know Frank is not the banker, so you can eliminate Frank as oh the banker. God. I because... thought you were doing a board puzzle. Oh, that's yeah, I, no, but I, I do have that's jigsaw like, puzzles, but this is what like a logic puzzle clue. is. I don't know. Right. Dude, it might like be a white thing. Oh. I don't know. Wait, I love some process of elimination. Googling that when we get off. It's play Clue. It's just like a more advanced version of it. Because if you use that same process to play Clue, You'll yeah, win every time like, because, because you, you can fi- you can figure out you can figure it within like like you can I think finger like, out <laughs> this guy <laughs> has been you here out within like three within like three turns you can figure <laughs> out who the killer is and who, like, just by just by using like a, a very basic system. I can't and remember you, right now, but and then you're afraid someone else gonna figure out, so you know you don't got it, but well, you'll I, make I, a leap yeah, that uh like, that you know is wrong. We would just try to read each other, try to figure out who's playing it, like. Right, like they bullshit. take a guess. Yeah, my family was yeah. playing it all together, like when I was a kid, because like I figured it out. I figured out like the system to do it, and like and I yeah. won every time. And they were like, "We don't, we, nobody want to play Clue anymore." So, <laughs> true, anymore. true, true story. <laughs> uh, we had a thing in school where they brought all the kids together from different schools to play all the, the games that were out at the time: board games, battleship, the shit like that. And I won by the second date. No one else had won a game. 
uh, and the and the final game was Battleship. And the guy, I know that I'm calling it right. And, um, and, and you know, I'm complaining. I'm like, hey, he got to have a ship in one of these places. And they were right. You're right, Joe. Uh, uh, but they let him win and explained to me that I couldn't. It, they couldn't have one winner over the two days. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm what? serious. I swear that's true. That would piss me. I, I don't know. Was was the guy, why if why it wasn't have, even oh me, God. I'm like, this is fucking bullshit. Yeah. I know. I, 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 I'd be making side protested. Oh, right. Me as a kid, me as a kid, I would have been like, oh, I would have been mad, dude. <laughs> You know I what? That story just changed my mind more. on institutional racism entirely. It is very it totally alive. Exactly. All the black kids. I would have gone to war of that ship. <laughs> oh, my yes. God. Yeah. Right. Was I, the I, other I, kid I, black I, or white, white Seriously, as a child. White. No, he oh, was uh, black. Uh, <laughs> okay. Were they all black? Were you just like a really smart No, 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 no. I, I, I did another one. Uh the academic Olympics, you probably guys know about that, where they take all the kids from everywhere. And um, it was like the Special Olympics, right? Yeah, yeah kind of, <laughs> kind of. Uh, but you know, all of those were stereotypical Asian. I was just say, oh, but most of those were fucking Asian. Yeah, they like, hilarious that they renamed the Special Olympics to the Academic and, Olympics. And, and Olympics. I was intimidated. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw a dude spin his pen. Some Asian kid next to him was taking his test, and he could spin his pen. And it was spent on his finger. Oh, yeah. The... Catch it and finish right. I was intimidated. And I took uh, second place. And uh, I didn't know it because after I took all the tests, I mean, it was thousands of kids. There's some shit. Uh, I that was back... the thing that intimidated you the pencil spinning. <laughs> the pencil spinning. Yeah, I was scared. I was like, I don't know, a freshman or something. I don't know. And I went back to uh, school the next day. And uh, and the, everybody was congratulating me in the uh, in the hallway. So I went to one of my teachers and asked, "The fuck is everybody congratulating?" They're playing the big party and all that shit. I took second in the city. Uh, hey. How what uh, grade was this? Uh, that was uh, early high school, uh, probably oh, okay. freshman sophomore. Wow, like that's... That. Yeah. my daughter's a good uh, test taker. Amazing and... that you were able to overcome. To... Yeah, I know this is a true uh, Hallmark movie story. <laughs> <laughs> but my play the race my card in that too. I'm just letting y'all know. <laughs> Throw the race card that's somewhere. And you know, there's but school <laughs> is so much kid, more standardized bro. now since they did Common Core and everything. That I told my daughter, I was like, "Look, you got you got to take all these volunteer take all the voluntary tests because the more you scratch your principal's back, the more he'll scratch your back because she's missed way more days of school than yeah. you're allowed. But yeah, she yeah, gets good grades for and suck." Yeah, she gets good grades, she's smart, and she can pass these tests and make the school look good so the school doesn't fuck with her. I got perfect scores for years. I put our school on the map. They had to bring in uh, new teachers and classes and trigonometry and college algebra teachers and shit. And just only it was like, just for me and the eight, it was other seven other girls. They picked the smartest people in the school. They told, we were the only people that went to these classes. We stayed together. They like, Joe with all the bitches. No, it was me <laughs> going to some honors class with a bunch of smart women. I, I I didn't, didn't know that did you anymore. go to college at all? Did you have any? Academic? I had an academic scholarship for a year. I went and did that year, and then uh, I sold drugs. What happened? I got arrested. <laughs> yeah, I got arrested. We, we had sort of similar lifelines, huh? <laughs> yes, yes, I got Everything was going really smoothly, and then you started selling drugs. And <laughs> yeah, yep, here's the fucked yep. up part: the arrest was um uh uh they told me they was charging me with not uh, showing ID. I was uh, home from school and I went and bought a cigar. And, um, and, but what happened, I, when I went to court the next day, the guy had told him judge about how he caught me running and I threw a pill bottle full of cocaine in there and all of that shit. And I spent months in jail because of that shit. Never went back to college. Was it lie? Was what? Yes, it was, was a lie. I was, it was a yeah, it was, I was not hustling. I tell you, I was not hustling. So what did he? What did you get char convicted with then? Because the cop didn't bring any coke, right? He yes, he out. did. They check oh, he this did. out. The guy who, when I was in the county with, uh, he said I charged him with cocaine. I blew it off. I'm like, fuck you, man. He, he said that I, I, I didn't idea some shit. He was like, no, before they got you, I saw the shit. They got it in the glove box. They said they was going to put it on somebody. Dude, they like this big. You burnt up, yo. He saw the rocks before they put them on me. So they did have them. Mm -hmm. 
So that bricks. explains a lot about Joe Cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? every, every hero has a backstory. <laughs> or it's your story. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have been trying to wrap up, but I am uh, nah, that's groovy. in the zone. I am enjoying myself a little too much. Yeah, it's been great. It always is, it's, man. Yeah, uh, it, and Jack is live. Like, so so uh, yeah, yeah, Jack, 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 Jack live. Jack told me I can't socialize my friends over there or disagree with his guests. If he changed his fucking yep. attitude, or maybe one day I may agree to those. Well, he's roles. isn't he under some stress right now? The, the I, one yeah, thing yeah, I've noticed that with stress. several people in this panel verse, when they're under stress, they have life stressors, and they're not doing <laughs> self care, their moods. Che- and they get more reactive to things I that it. normally. Right. It's his own folly. It it it's yeah, a yeah. pattern of noticing. That, that is so not chair. helpful. That, no, that's I'll be more patient and shit, Jeff is absolutely but, right. I'm going he tells me that too, me. Joe, and I ignore it because obviously yeah, I to so so for to you, socialize with your friends. <laughs> right, it's clear. I'll be your attorney. But he's already got another lady up there. Where is he? These new people coming from? Oh, he said yesterday or something. He found it like he met all these marvelous new intellectual hybrids. Yeah, there's a new one up there right now. Handpick to come on his show, like handpicking people to come. Who are these? He's starting streaming to Facebook too. He's pulling in Facebook. That's where they're coming from. And he had that. That's why I thought that that Joe Kool Aid, that Lisa Carol White Everett or whoever. Whoever was on the show, and I'm like, maybe this is one of those the the OT guys. OT, I, I rushed out of Jacks yesterday because was Mitch good. was streaming a cop incident again, and I wanted to restream it, but so I didn't get a chance to tell OT to sub up to me. That OT guy is hilarious. I was trying to figure out who he was. Is he somebody new? I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't know who he was either. He came. From, he came from Facebook shit. though. He comes on. He will not shut up. He's talking. He oh, just was cracking so wait, eggs on stream, screen. Right? Where do you? I'm like, are those fucking eggs? Facebook? What are you doing with eggs? He's like sitting here cooking, scrambling eggs, <sighs> licking the spoon off. You know, like he doesn't give a fuck. Flo, how do you stream to Facebook? Like, what are you streaming? I don't know. To? I the only other I place think you I would stream... have to add it in the stream yard. You yeah, because I have it added, but the only people who ever see it are my friends okay. and family. Like, things. it doesn't stream right. publicly. To where and now, if you were to like join him. a group, I was, I was thinking about the, the whole oh, thing you put in my life. If I, if I streamed, yeah, that to, to Facebook. If I put my show on Facebook, it would be nothing but my mom. And dad, and like, and like a few of my my family. Members, Are they like entertaining? Would they make good content? No, uh, no, they would be they would be very disappointed. Me. <laughs> oh, they're from never foe. Forget <laughs> that. Forget about it. Thank Who's from Thorpe TV? Me. Thank you for having me up, Jeff. Chris, Shut up, Cynthia. We have got to get together soon, Chris. I'm on a crazy work. Two week yeah, run right I mean, here, but well, we're well, I want to meet good. you and your wife. I have um, so many questions. You have me on. You have me on Discord, right? Yes. Wait. Um, are you, yes. Yeah. If, so if, if, I, if we're on Discord, like I'll send you my number. You can call me anytime. Like what, okay. what, what, whatever's going on. Like I don't. I, I mean. Yeah. We we actually we got a car, so we're we're mobile. So like we're we're, nice. we're good to we're good to go around. So you guys I gotta mean, keep your eyes open for those sneakers. Oh, yeah, y'all I mean, keep playing. I, I, I have, can I have, find been, I, have start, I have started thrift. I've started a thrift shop again. So, like, I'll I'll take you an eye out. Thrift Giant and Texas Thrift are big, big, mm-hmm. and uh, in are are big places to find stuff like that. So, and then we got to talk about the Fort Worth ones behind closed doors. Okay. All right. Alrighty. Thank you, guys. See Bye, you later. Cynthia. Bye, Bye. Flo. I'm sure I'll see you later. Flo, are you streaming yeah. later? Uh, I'm sure I will be. Yeah. Okay. Check um, Flo's channel if you want more of this. Yeah. And before I go, since Just Frank is here, Just Frank, earlier I accused Cynthia of turning you from a troll into a domesticated simp. <laughs> All right, I'm out. I can't. I can't. T- I can't refute that. I mean, it I seems how, like saying? Just Frank was always mean to me every goddamn time I encountered him. Until he fell in love with Cynthia, and then he became a domesticated simp. See, even Frank knows. Even Frank, even Frank agrees. Wow. Yeah. All right, I'm out. I, I've, I've never seen Frank agree with anything. So. Okay. All Our right. Shops are racist. 
How are they <clears> racist? <throat> <laughs> Anyway, all right, Jeff, you can you you can close it down. I don't have anything. I don't I don't have a closing statement today, except for the fact that like okay. I'm um, well, I I I I disavow any string that has rant on it. <laughs> so, I don't I don't think it was that bad. Like yeah, I, relative I, I, I to some of his I other appearances, I, I think he started out pretty well, and I, he and he I certainly made well. more progress until, until in a conversation that we ever had. I tell someone very slightly disagreed with him, and he turned into it and just like a, a non-funny ad hominem machine. We took, yeah, and I took care of it, as I would with anyone. Yeah. <clears throat> and he left on his own, voluntarily. So Anyway, all right. Well, you guys have a wonderful day, all of you out in the comments, Uncle Fatty. Uh, once again, Uncle Fatty, shout out to you for making those uh, those those meme things of me. They they've given yeah, me they, and my wife. They, were hilarious. they gave those me and my hilarious. wife infinite, in, in, just an infinite amount of of of, of a laughter and jest. I, I, I we've laughed at those things so many times. Um, so thank you for again for that. I, I know I know you just used a uh, a website or a program, but I I don't care. I think they were hilarious and. I, I I love them so much. So <laughs> thank you so much for that. Um, it, it really added, added a lot of joy to my life. Um, oh, uh, a, a, and updates to the AI AI folder coming in. Huh? Oh, oh wow. Okay, I got I got updates coming in, Lindsay. I got updates to the AI folder. So like we got to watch out for that. So all right, guys. Good night. Good day. Good afternoon. Good day. Good night. That's all I got to see you tomorrow. Have a good rest of your weekend. Bye. <sighs>